Yo, 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 once again, we back. This is with just the Messengers Podcast. Of course, I'm Mo. I'm Mike. You know, we got Do Work Media Sundays. Of course, it's my dog, Drew Money, on the boards. I, 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 how y'all feeling? We doing good, man. It's a good Sunday, man. Sunday morning at that, man. So we in here about to get the day started, man. You know what I'm saying? A good yes, week. sir. Good vibes going on. <laughs> good vibes going on on the, on, the, on the Sunday wake up, man. Bless them. Bless <laughs> <laughs> oh, bless him, man. You never know what you find when you pull up at the studios, man. <laughs> Niggas trying to see what's playing. <laughs> hey, man, you gotta love downtown, man. You gotta love it, bro. You Niggas gotta... trying to see what plants, man. What we doing, man? Hey, man, you gotta love it, bro. You gotta love it down here, man. I, I love this shit, honestly. Like you say, so you just gonna take my plant? <laughs> <laughs> That's the shit they got me. <laughs> That's a like, char- damn, that's what we do. That's, we still in plants, bro. That's a chance. That shit hard to drag bro. too. <laughs> Where you going? <laughs> I told my child get out the car. Like I know this bitch ain't, bro. Like, cause she look like she caught red handed. Like she ain't go nowhere. She ain't she just trying to be standing there the whole time. <laughs> uh-huh. Hey man, shout I'll out to her, man. man. You know, so she get her something together, man. Please get together, man. Get it together, baby girl. But um, <laughs> yo, man. Other than that, man, it was, it was a lot going on in the city last night, man. We had Coil Ray, the baby, all kind of niggas here last night at the Coliseum. Man, where they was at? Man. At the Coliseum. Oh, was, I didn't even know that. The baby Coil Ray. Uh, was Boozy here too? Was it Boozy? I think so. Uh, and they had uh, the, uh, the black, the black truck food festival. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I was going on uh, yesterday and today. Yeah, um, yeah, man. Coming off shit the going. hills of four twenty, um, Ella Jell was doing headlight in the show down that music farm. for. Uh, I forgot Shorty, the Shorty who do the I understood the assignment song. Uh, I forgot okay. her name, but yeah, Ella Dell was actually. Oh, DJ. that's who that is. Yeah, she. I don't he, know her he name. He was the DJ for the show, so yeah. Yeah, big up. I don't want to disrespect her. I forgot her name yeah. though, but yeah, shout out to my dog Ella Dell, man. Yeah, man. Official DJ for the show. Y'all seen that shit with the baby uh, punch the security dude backstage? No, that was his artist. That was his artist. But from what I'm hearing, dog, dog, um, his he he let his gun off in the in the in the back room or whatever, and dog and baby and like that's it. Mm. His gun went off. So when he when he finally found out what was going on, he was like, "Man, how the fuck you, you know <laughs> what you got going on?" And he nigga, swung on him. Nigga don't talk it with his mouth, bro. Nigga just punch nigga, bro. <laughs> They were walking down the hallway and just turn around. Like, did a turn around. Like, <laughs> he had you, to power it up. All right. They did like a That's UFC a feisty sweat. nigga, man. Word, bro. Nigga. Hey, but dog, dog was ready for it, though. He ate that shit <laughs> he, and, and boot up. Hey, dog, 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 he, dog wasn't going for nothing, though. Like, hey, man. They probably were talking uh, spicy coming down that hallway. Hey, if they, if they, if they, if they ain't broke it up, dog, baby might have found his mats right there because Big Dog wasn't backing down. I thought it was security. I thought it was security, <laughs> no, too. No, that was artists. That was artists. So I had to read this shit. I was like, damn, is this an artist that big? Like, no, nah, that's his artist. Nigga look like security for real. It was named um, Young Wisdom or something like that. So, <laughs> you know, who knows, man? You know, hopefully they get that situation rectified. So, you know, you know, it's another <sighs> incident, though. <laughs> another Fucking one. Baby, another one. You <laughs> don't have another one come up, man. Charles been on fire today, man. I mean, this weekend, excuse yeah, me. It good. really was. It's a good look for, for Charleston going on. Y'all going to the um to the food truck festival or? Hmm, I might pull up. Nope. Nah, y'all good? I got to work, man. But good. I always have to end you up know, having to work weddings and shit. From what I've been seeing, it, it was packed, though. They said they've been in traffic for like two hours trying to get it's in like there. The fair. Yeah, so I mean. Got to know that back road, though. Yeah, they got to know it, but you know, a lot of niggas don't know that. Too late. That's all good. <laughs> <laughs> hey man. But uh I I probably won't catch it this year, you know, but it's I'll probably catch it next year. But uh mm, mm. you know. What's gonna be the best um Well, have you ever been to one before? Um, I've been to a couple of food truck festivals. I've never been to the Yeah, I'm talking about the food truck festivals. Yeah, I've been to a couple of them. Um who was the best one? The best one. I hey, think. y'all niggas eating uh, tacos at uh, like at a fair or some shit? If it's from the Mexicans, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they set up out there. Yeah, hell yeah. I don't know, man. I feel like that shit ain't supposed to be at no fairgrounds, man. You don't think tacos fair food? Hell no. But what if what if them boy like actually out there though, like the real deal Mexicans though, like cooking them? I'll fuck with it probably. Probably. 
You just don't think it's like fair food. Hell no. So what's fair food to you like? Like funnel cakes, hot dogs. Shit like that. Burgers. Yeah, shit like that. I mean, with a Chinese food at the fair. At, at the fair, fuck no. They always got Chinese. Well, you food. don't fuck. You don't fuck with the China exactly. Man. The so China man. Exactly. The China man. They always they always out there though. Yeah. They, they be out there. They always at the fair. They, they have the they, they don't be having uh fried rice and yeah, they, chicken. Yeah, they do. They do. Yeah, <laughs> they be, they have the whole saboing. They run like, cater to the niggas. Whole saboing. <laughs> 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 The whole, if, if you if you thinking like where that bull riding is every year at the fair, yeah, ground, they have the Chinese. China, food, yeah, you keep on going down to the left, the China man right there. They got there. everything, chicken on the stick, everything, all that shit bro. right around that corner. A little bucket of fries, Word. loaded fries or some shit around the corner. Yeah, man. Yeah, they have everything. But yeah, if, if it's Mexicans, I will pull up. Damn right, because that shit gonna be busting. I already know. Poseidon. If Poseidon out there, well, they'll clean up, but they don't need any, I don't even feel like they need to come to no food truck festival, respectfully. They got their own shit going they on. They don't, yeah, they don't need, they don't really need the, the extra press at this point. Like, they can just post where they at and they know niggas going to pull up. I know I'm going to pull up. I, am I might go go, <laughs> it's me. I'm thinking, I'm, I might go grab some Poseidon this week. It's been a couple, it's been a month or two since I had Poseidon, honestly. It's been a few days for me, bro. That's it. Busting, boy. Word, yeah, that they, shit don't miss. I always see them right there now. They they they, they like permanently posted right where they at now. But, That's for um, sure. But yeah, if they had to the fail, I don't, I don't see. It. I, I've seen every other food there. Like if the Mexicans come up there, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna pull up. I'd be wanting tacos at the fair when I've had to fail, Honestly, hey, when was the last year the Stone Soul picnic? Had to been like oh four probably. That's what I was thinking. Oh four or five? Like oh four or five. Damn, that used to be an event, bro. I remember I met them. O2 might have been the best year. I met 3LW at one of them shits. That was the same year. I met Camera on them niggas. niggas. Oh, 3LW? Yeah. Damn, I met bruh. them niggas straight off the stage. Because old girl, uh, Latori Naughton yeah, was Latoya, in that group, yeah. right? She, uh, yeah. I got that hug, too. You remember when them boys had switched up their group? Mm-hmm. That shit was, it wasn't hitting no more. Yeah, that shit was wild. That's why Kanye had a bar itself. He's like, I switched my girls around like 3 L dub. Yep. Damn, people don't remember that. People don't know about that, bro. People don't know about that. You got to do your ghouls, man. You got to do your ghouls. Yeah. I met Cameron. Cameron hit me with the stay in school speech. I'm like, nigga, no, nigga. What are you talking about, bro? <laughs> <laughs> this nigga was like, yo, stay in school. <laughs> Rappers, rappers, good for that stay in school like, bullshit. Nigga hit me with a stay in school and hopped in a in a bus and started lighting up weed. Like, what are you talking about, bro? Like, <laughs> get out of here, Cam. But yeah, the Stones used to have Charleston and chokehold. That's he used to have Charleston and chokehold, bro. You know what? The last year for Stones or Pitney was 07. Soldier Boy was the last year that we had it here. Damn, that was it was 07. I know for a fact because one of my homeboys, little brother. He got a video dance with Soldier Boy doing the crank that. That was the last year we had it here, straight up, cause it was, it was at the, uh, it was at Riverfront. And it's always like around around back to school time, kind of August. Mm-hmm. Damn. Oh seven was the last year. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> never coming back. That ain't never coming back. Yeah, I mean. They should have some type of music festival though annually. We should. I mean, that was it. If, I don't if, know. if, if they stuck with it, it would have been bigger by now. I don't know why they stopped. I don't know either, man. They but I remember O two being a big year because we was in like six. We, I was in like sixth grade. Was that the year Razor game? Fifth, sixth grade. So you got to think O two. Who's a big like girl at? Not well, the like B two K type shit. That was three O W year O two. Okay. Uh. Uh. Who else? Low Romeo. Who was else uh, at the time? I think uh, Rizzo came that year too. Might have been. Uh, who else? Because they used to have them commercials yeah, this flowing on the be, radio. This would be a lot of niggas coming now. One year it almost got rained out. I think that might have been 03. 03 or 04. Well, they was anticipating rain. Yeah. <coughs> Damn. Shout out to the Stone Soul picture. Shout out to the Stone Soul, man. Shout, Shout out to, to T-Jams uh, too, man. Remember Team Jam? Damn. 
Niggas don't know about Teen Jams, bro. Nigga, that bro, was 15 plus years ago. Niggas, I went to Teen Jam 99. They had fucking Black Rob there, bro, performing Whoa. Oh, yeah. That's, that, that's 2000, 2001, oh, yeah, nigga. That's 2000. That was I 90, wasn't a teen yet, but I like remember 90, that shit. Yeah, that was like 99, 2000. I wasn't even a teen yet, neither. I went with my bigger cousin, my older cousins. God, and we was walking damn. around. We was walking around. I remember that shit, dog. We was rolling on the Coliseum and shit, just tripping off shit, bro. And this nigga performed. Black Rob came out the end. There was a lot of people performing, but I remember because when you used to walk around the mall, they used to have all the like little, the little, uh, little cars fly, and yeah. supplies and uh-huh. shit. I remember that shit, bro. But the mall itself done changed so damn much. Yeah, I think every store done been a different store before. Yeah, I was there's sure. one store in there that been the same since, since around that finish time. Finish line, not even finish line no more. Champs still champs, nah. and then they closed. Well, shit, they done open and close that 20 damn times. Foot action closed. Yeah, foot action is gone. Well, the foot action that used to be in front of Dillard's, that shit's some old other shit now. That shit is vacant. Yeah, Remember when foot gone. action used to be in front of Dillard's? Yeah, that shit gone. That's a, uh, I think that's a church now. It's like a a, a, a prayer center or some shit now. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the mall, the mall. No, because right, cause right next door is the a barbershop. It's a barbershop in there now. But yeah, the barbershop. Because that, that used to be a jewelry store. That used to be Zales or some shit like that, isn't it? No, Zales is still right there on Zales, the corner. Okay, so Zales is Zales like, and then like uh, right across is some other jewelry. Besides Zales and like Dillard's and shit like that, like yeah. it's no more original stores in there no more. Like. Uh, even the and they cook- don't even last one. Bro, the cookie shop is gone. By the food court? That shit is gone, bro. Wow. I ain't even I don't even know this. Because I really walk by that side. I always come out of the gym side. The cookie shop is gone. But it's a it's a bakery still, but it's not like like that same cookie that shop. That American cookie. Yeah, the American cookie is gone. That shit blew my mind. <laughs> when the pandemic happened, that mall really went upside down. <laughs> Cause then people was just yeah that was that was the last leg that was the last and then when leg they started opening sure. back up the only place was like that deli spot that was still open American deli and American deli and I'm not gonna... American deli uh the the little they be selling burgers and fries and shit it's right there by the uh, Dairy Queen right it's like kind of like in the middle next to the uh Chinese the Chinese spot you get like a burger fries all type of shit it's not American deli American deli is on the other side by Chick Fil A. But it's, I think that shit closed. No, that's American Deli. It is. Yeah. So what's the one down there by uh by oh, Chick Fil A? About uh Jason's Deli. That's oh, gone. Okay, okay, okay. That's okay, gone. Okay. That's about to be a uh, <laughs> Jason's Deli is a fucking <laughs> is a fucking dojo now, bro. What? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes, nigga. The mall is in shambles, man. Right? That mall is in fucking shambles. <laughs> the mall bro. is in shambles, bro. I'm trying to tell you. Motherfuckers just be going to Burlington, man. <laughs> like that's 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 it. Like bro, the foot like the su- the sneaker stores don't even hit the same no more, man. Jimmy Jazz got about a few more years for that shit has changed, bro. <laughs> Cause remember they expanded that too. That used to be two stores, but they combined it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro, this shit is a sham. Is that hat store still even over there? Lids, yeah, lids still there. <laughs> By the grace of God, lids still there. But lids is like a, a chain corporation. They're not gonna just about to disappear, but they on the ledge too. I don't know, man. What What do you think? Because this, this is this is like the malls across South Carolina, though. Like, so what do you think the malls have to do to to get back to prominence, though? So remember, the malls used to be like you making know, two floors, but shit, they barely can do what they got to do with one floor. You think if they just redecorated and bring some new swag, it'll help it out? They would have to. Because, I mean, look what the fuck they doing. So, is the same people who own Northwoods Mall on uh, Citadel Mall? I think so. All right. So, what the fuck they doing with Citadel Mall? Shit, they got a fucking... <laughs> they got a hospital attached to Citadel Mall now. A what? A hospital. MUSC got a, like a sub-hospital on, on, on Citadel Mall now. And they film they film uh, Righteous Gemstones there, too. I don't know what that is. The show on HBO? I never heard of that. It's about like the mega church family. It's a funny. It's funny as hell. You gotta watch it. Right, the gemstones. Yeah, but Citadel got to get chopped the fuck down, or they gonna just I, from rebuild I, it. Do something. No, from what I heard last year, they was they was about to make. They was going to double. They was going to add another story to Citadel Mall, and have like a sports like complex in it and all like all kind of shit going on in there. For both of these malls, they need to make them two stories. I guarantee you they'll have a lot lot more people come through there. 
Just put the stores in there. They will make the money. At this point, I feel like malls, malls kind of getting obsolete, so they're going to have to start uh, really, like, gauging with the local businesses, kind of make them, not like flea markets, but make it to where, like, if you got a business, it'll be, you, you got, like, a local business, it'll, it should be easy for you to be, have a, a situation in the mall. Because a lot of these places, like, a lot of these places got to start gravitating to me. A lot of places got to start gravitating towards who doing something in the city, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, have it to where people are drawn to the mall for the local people, mm-hmm. as well as, like, the chain stores. That's how I feel. So, until we start doing that, like, I don't I don't see too much traffic, right, really going to the mall. But, I mean, last time I was there, like, it was, it was a few people in there. Like, so, is it is it true that Nike suspended their contract with uh, Foot Locker? Um, I don't think that's true, because Nike's still in Foot Locker. Hmm. I don't know if they were talking about more so for new releases or like they were talking about it was just gonna be like Adidas, New Balance, and Side Foot Lockers now. Nah, and that's crazy. Still like, whole, why would they do that? It still got whole Nike walls in there. I don't, I don't think that's one. Well, I just read a report about. It. I don't know when it was gonna start though. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. If that do happen, <laughs> it, it's just certain malls that just ain't never gonna die, bro. And I feel like with them, if they just add more stores in there, they'll get the traffic through there. Yeah, Citadel ain't got shit, man. Citadel don't got nothing for real. Motherfuckers go there for Target, man. That's about it. Yeah, you are right. As <laughs> soon as you walk in there, like all this, if you walk in by the end where the gym is at, that shit is like, you see tumbleweed flow through that motherfucker. They putting the courts back in there, the basketball courts yeah, back the in there. Yeah, basketball courts. Is that shit that came and went, came and went, came and went, came and went. They got basketball courts in Citadel Mall, bro. <laughs> at first it was doing a full court, but now it's yeah, like it's two. two. It's two half, it's it's two two half court now. setups. <laughs> So niggas really in the, in the mall sweating playing ball. No, nah, what it is is it's a it's an AAU team that that used the facility to practice in. Now they was supposed to have to where we can just yeah, go just in there and run. Yeah, just regular people can play. But and now run. They, it's just an AAU team for them. Like they got it like where you can't go in there. Like well they they got it like that, but you can just easily go under there. But that's what it is. It's an AAU team that that got that little space. Yeah, <laughs> these niggas bored, man. I mean, it's a, Citadel is a dead zone. I remember man. the barber shop used to be in that bitch. Yeah, like, flavor cuts. Yeah, yeah. Like I remember flavor cuts and flavor cuts ain't been there. Is that what is that now? Anyway, in the mall, is that still a barber shop? <laughs> no, that, that shit, shit is gone. I think that shit is like sheetrock. Nigga. Yeah, like, that, that shit gone. That, that shit is. Whole... We talking about Northwoods, right? No, Citadel. Citadel. They, oh, Citadel. It's a, it yeah. was a flavor cuts in Citadel. It was too. a flavor cuts in Citadel. Yeah. I never knew that. It was by the old uh, video game store. Mm-hmm. Bab- was it Babbage's? Babbage's. Yeah. Yeah. Because they that's what, what's the big what's the big God thing? damn. Because the and see the, the store across the street from uh, the little the air store. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And they, they had all the bathing apes. Well <laughs> Well, supposedly be bathing apes. <laughs> Fapes. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, like they that's when I was like, damn, like, okay, what the fuck are these? Like and then yeah. I saw Soldier Boy diamond with them shit. I was like, okay, Soldier Boy be in this store right here. I bet. <laughs> Well, All yeah. right, <laughs> 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 yeah, but I mean, yeah, I don't know, man. Babbages, bro, you really took it back. That was Babbages, Babbages. Bro. I remember Babbages. They used to go. They used to have two game stores in the mall. You had uh, this was before. What was it before? It was GameStop. Babbages. Babbages. It was Babbages. Mm-hmm. What was the other one? There was two of them. Cause Babbages used to be right on the corner where uh, Jimmy Jazz is now. Then they had another one. Oh, the one right there that's still over there. Matter of fact, that's the only game store that probably done stood the test of time. In yeah, North was yeah. Right next to uh Pac Sun and yeah, all that shit. That's yeah. GameStop. Okay. What was it before? That was always that wasn't always GameStop. That was Babbage's for four. It was the Babbage's in the North was Mall too. That was Babbage's. But what was the game store right there where Jimmy Jazz was at? Because it, it couldn't have been Yeah, there was one right there. It couldn't have been Babbage's too. Because further down was KB Toys. You could have got yeah. games from there too. Then you had the one where Jimmy Jazz is at now, and then you got the GameStop right there next to Pac Sun. It was like three. It was like three video games. Well, you could have got video games from because Disney Store was right there on the corner. Oh, that was that was, was Fye. No, no, no. Fye was right there where Victoria's Secret is at now. Hold on, bro. What? Yeah. No, you're right. You're right because. Fye moved a couple times in there. Yeah, no, yeah. this was two game stores. Nah, you're right. you because you had the Disney store that was right there on the corner. Then you had so, a game, you had a video game store. 
where finish line is at now, that used to be uh, KB Toys. And then you had the game stop where that's at now, right? And it's a pack sign. No, nah, KB Toys was where uh, Planet Fitness at. It was a little further up. That was that was that whole little. You had to think now nah, that was like four stores right there where Planet Fitness is at. That's what I'm saying. KB was a little bit up. All right, because they had like all kind of all kind of little stores back up in there. And hey, Champs always been there. Yeah, I know, bro. You tell you kind of unlocked the memory. <laughs> yeah, bro. Just, that's God, what I'm that saying. That's different now. To think Disney was in fucking the mall. Like, yeah, yeah. Disney, yeah, yeah. Disney, Disney store. store. Disney had a store. And yeah. they had it because the little setup was like... Yeah, it was like a like, long... Yeah. spinning all that shit. Yeah. 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 Come and see that Mickey Mouse with the wizard hat. Matter of fact, game yeah. stores might be uh, getting out the... Matter of fact, the one that's uh, next to Rooms to Go, that's yeah. right in the corner, that yeah. shit gone. Is it? That shit gone, bro. I, been in I went over there the other day because I was going to Best Buy. And I drove past that shit. That shit is gone. That GameStop oh, that is gone. That GameStop is gone, yeah. Mm-hmm. I ain't been to Northwoods Mall probably about like two, three years. I don't go to the mall, period, though. Like, at you all. ain't missing nothing, brother. I bet. Well, you should I catch. Remember, I remember being in the mall pulling shifts as a kid, bro. Like, Word. You used to be, hey, drop me off at the mall. It's 12 o'clock. And you ain't get home till like almost the mall closed. See, the Silver Mall was cool, but Northwoods Mall. That was that was the adventure mall, Woo. man. <laughs> Woo. Chill, 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 chill. Good lord, hey, amen. Well, y'all would been spoiled up there, boy. Yes, sir. Right, right, hey, but I love Silver Mall, bro. I bet, yeah. Coming down, it's always cool. But no, when I used to live in the west, I used to I used to stay uh, at Silver Mall. I knew too much people, but but then when I moved, I was like, oh, this is what I've been missing out on this whole time. <laughs> yeah, I'll be here Saturdays. All right. <laughs> I see the little wavy ponytail. <laughs> hey, bro, you be in the hey, mall. Bro. You be in the mall eight hours. Grab right. one pair of NBA socks. All right. <laughs> Walking around with this bag. For Walk hours. around that bag for hours. I'm bro. post up in the food court. Get to a little headband. Get to the little right. socks. <laughs> you good? That headband really had a run. <laughs> but it's okay. Like my cousin came down right, so we went to Northwoods. Like nigga from Maryland. Messing shorties and shit. This nigga buying lingerie. We like fucking like 12, 13. This nigga buying shorties lingerie and shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, nigga's a wild boy. Nigga dog. tricking early. Early. And if he tricking that early, he in tr- He must be in trouble now, bro. Like, How's he doing? He's doing pretty he's doing well. pretty now. good. And no churn out here. Like, you know, just doing this thing, man. But it's funny because of like who the shorty is now. It's oh, like, man. Oh, it's man. Like, oh, off air come. <laughs> Like dad, bro. Like my cousin really was buying you lingerie, bro. This young, bro. Hey, like, man, that man was living life, man. He was. It be he, like that sometimes. That's though. probably like he caught that number around like the eighth hour of the day. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the eighth. It was, niggas really was pulling like. No, nah, niggas was pulling shifts day, in the mall, bro. bro. Like, oh, fucking. At day. least a four hour. At least a four hour, bro. Or now, but see, we would go to like the movies and shit. Mm-hmm. And then come back Cause the to movies the right there, you be able to walk. Walk to the movies and then walk right back to the mall. Like, that shit was cool, man. Good days. Can't do that no more. Simple man. days, man. Hey, when man. the malls were full of shit. Yeah. And people. Yeah. But that Disney store got me fucking tripping. KB Toys got me tripping, too, because they always had that little basket in the front with the little flipping mm-hmm. toys. They had the best shit in their games, too. Nah, for real. They had everything in that shit. KB Toys was a... a Dope ass store as a Damn, kid. Damn, bro, like our kids not gonna really know what a real toy store is now, bro. Like Toys R Us out the paint. Toys R Us is vacant. Like they trying to lease that motherfucking space now, bro. That shit is really vacant because a lot of them get their toys offline now. Yeah, that, but the in store experience is like what you, you like. My like my daughter be waiting till we go to Walmart to ask for toys, like or or, or Target or something. Can we go to toy aisle? You know, and so, I be like, damn, like you not you never you never ask me to go to like a toy store. Like that's crazy. Bro, like, listen, the experience you had as a kid going to uh, Toys R Us as a kid, because even before you really know what aisles. Word you knew based off the color, mm-hmm. so like I knew walking down, if I saw pink, I wasn't going down. That oh, yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> that ain't my eye. But as soon as I see the little dark or lord, that was Power Rangers, that was I all the shit that I really I was I into. I hitting the aisle with all the boxes, unless I, I know for a fact I want some Legos or right. something, bro. <laughs> if I see the aisle with all the little plastic, oh, yeah, that's that's where I need to be at. Yeah. That's what I need to be at right here. This is where all the action figures at, and I know I do the Pokemon cards up front. <laughs> 
Facts. You gotta keep an eye on them shit. Bro. Please don't bring that up, bro. Please don't bring Pokemon. I know. I get so I mad. Oh, <laughs> I think about that shit. That's in the back of my head. Bro. I got like two pages full of full of Charizards, bro. I cannot find that shit, man. Them shit is long gone, bro. I don't want. They get two ninety nine two thousand, bro. I remember it like it was yesterday getting my first card, nigga. And now you got motherfuckers who got them shit in mint condition, first edition, getting tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, a hundred racks for one card. That's that's easy money, man. So you 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 get a hundred grand for a holographic Charles, or you probably get a, a you probably get a hundred k for a holographic Blastoise. All that Got shit is like a tainer, if it's man. yeah, if it's first, if it's first edition, yeah, first edition, and if it's in a specific condition, yeah, you straight. Fuck, you easily could have been millions up. I don't even want to think about it, man. Because I was around for the first generation. That's how I feel. You know what I'm saying. So bro. I know, like them shit. Like I got some. I, I kind of felt like in the back of our mind, we was thinking about maybe down the line how much it was cost. I was thinking like 50, 60 years. But see, I wasn't. I wasn't thinking about twenty years later that shit would I be got, worth that. I, that's why I got the little. It was like a lunchbox, little the tiny, hard, co- the hard, yeah, the the hard <laughs> bottom. Because this is why I knew I took them out the pages for this very reason. Because you can put a little lock on this shit. Mm-hmm. I said, let me put these shit the fuck away. Because this is what happened with my pops. You had baseball cards all across the fucking world. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Nigga got the shit at my auntie house, this auntie house, this cousin house, this cousin house. Ain't know where his shit at. Bro, I got an uncle who had like a box full of like Jordan cards. He knew that these was valuable. Long story short, the police, the police took this nigga cards, bro. They like straight up stole this man straight shit. Straight up stole this man cards in for front no of him. reason. Well, I mean, off another off air. Fuck man. twelve. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, fuck twelve, bro. <laughs> yeah. So basically, it was like we just gonna take this. We right just here. gonna take these shit. You know Damn. What I mean? Yeah. Because <laughs> when I got back in it, he was like, "Man, I got a box, but I know the, I know for a fact police took my shit." And I was like, "Damn." Because I remember I used to go to car shows with him, like when I was younger. Like he was in the shit, but mm-hmm. you know. Niggas live change, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that shit saying that man. shit crazy, bro. That shit saying. So yeah, man, let's talk about uh, winning time, man. This uh, HBO show that's talk about the Dynasty Lakers, man. Mo, you had a chance to finally start that shit. I'm up. I'm up to episode four. So okay, by the time yeah. I, so we about this would be episode eight. Yeah, episode eight tonight. What you think so far, man? This shit fire, bro. <laughs> that shit fire as hell. Like Drew, you watch it. What's it called? Winning, Winning time. time. Winning time. Yeah, yeah. it's on HBO Max. I saw the talk people talking about it on Twitter. What happened? The nigga Doctor Bus. <laughs> Do- Do- off the gates now. First off, episode. Off the gates, dog is crazy, dog. Remember when Magic Johnson was when he had passed away? You talking about how Doctor Bus always said, "You know, I just love the women. I love the women." Yeah. Off the gates. Yeah. Dog was really fucking with the women. Like they don't hold nothing back they on this shit. Them. They tell, they tell, they tell it how they it is, show, bro. they show it all, and they do it all. Now. They show how Jenny, how Jenny Bus started now, like how she is now, like she's probably like the head of the Lakers now. Like they show how she really started, like coming up and shit. Like it's real dope how they really tell a story because you can actually see a lot of the people now. You know what I'm saying? Like that shit hard, bro. That shit hard as fuck. Like they show how John, um. How Doctor Bus like when he when he went and bought the Lakers like how he owed bro fifteen million in cash because he had put up like a bunch of properties because that's that's how he got his wealth from uh he was a he was a doctor for real but he really got his wealth from like real estate investment in L A so he had an ass of properties he put up and he had like a bunch of other shit he put up and he owed bro like fifteen million but he was like he only had one hundred and twenty cash liquid in the bank so he had a week to get fifteen million in cash. <laughs> And this nigga was like, he was walking out the office talking to the camera. He was like, well, I'm going to have to do some, some digging and some digging around. Dog <laughs> no, really was in debt, but he he had to get partners to like make the purchase go yeah. through. Yeah, and the, like, the last one. Really took, he really took a chance. He took, he took chances because the NBA was in trouble back then. Mm-hmm. Yes, they didn't even know. Like when they drafted Bird and Matthew, they, they kind of revived the NBA like on the low. Like, mm-hmm. so. and, and Magic was already drafted before he finished college. Yeah. Cause they did the he little. He came back. He it came. was like a supplemental draft or some shit they did. No, it was a regular draft. Oh, okay. He just decided to come back. Yeah. Like on some Ricky Rubio type shit. Yeah, yeah, Cause yeah. Cause remember when Ricky got drafted, but he didn't join the Wolves until like 2010, 11 or something mm-hmm. like that. Yeah. That shit was wild though. He was really broke as fuck. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like he was broke, but he had a a a, a heavy invest like a something that was worth he, something. He, at he the had same to cause Ike to get the last two M's. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
She was like, he was like, I promise you, you won't, you won't, you won't regret this. She was like, nigga, get off my phone. Like, <laughs> still gave him the bread though. <laughs> still gave him the bread. So then he had to. Uh, Magic Johnson was like, yo, if y'all paying, uh, y'all paying Kareem six hundred, I'm worth, I'm worth about five hundred, five hundred thousand. Cause that was the they wasn't getting the millions back then. It was no. getting, yeah. Six figures. Even the sne- even the shoe deals. Yeah. So did you get to the part where he was uh they was pitching him for the shoe deals yet? For the Nike shit? Yeah. Yeah, I got to that part. Right. I'm gonna say his stake in Nike would have been five point something billion right now. That shit crazy. If he would have took that. But back then it was like it was money. But the but the it was paper the bread. But the paper difference wasn't that big though for it him to go for him to go with Conver. It was only like what, thirty thousand or something think, like that? Yeah, I think a lot of people wasn't really hip to like Equity, what, yeah, what equity yeah. was back then, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, you would think, you know, the the type of business mind that Magic Johnson is now, that he would have took that deal, but I guess it was, it was a learning experience. Years old. It was a learning, yeah. He was, a, he was straight out of Michigan, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? It was a wild motherfucker. That bro. was a wild. Mother- even, that's why I don't even know why Magic trying to do all <laughs> like, this bro, like, his old documentary like, shit, bro. Like, let that shit let ride. That shit ride. <laughs> That shit ride, bro. We already got you on real interviews talking about how you bust down somebody in, in, the, the, in, the, in, the, in the HR office. You ain't even locked the door. You ain't even locked the door. The things he gave me that look, and I was like, oh, man. <laughs> Try, he trying to put out his own doc now. No, don't nah, do that. Man, we, that we, watch, we watching winning time, nigga. We watching women, winning time. This Bruh, nigga, if, they, if they keep this shit on track, this really could be like an A1 type yeah, show. Yeah, hell like, yeah. real shit. Hell yeah. They even show how... Uh, I I like how they show how he when he first came, <laughs> how Mixon Joe Mixon was hating on that nigga dog. Norm Mixon. Norm Mixon was hating on him. He yeah. Was, he was like, yeah, you know. Oh, he he saw it even before he got yeah. there because the hoes the hoes been looking yeah, the at him. Like, looking at hey, you you sure it was magic coming and magic <laughs> coming. That nigga was in the nail. Like that that nigga was in the nail shop losing yeah. his fucking cool dog. That nigga was losing his mind, the nigga bro. Was cool at the nail shop. I'm like, oh, bro. you ain't top dog no more. We got top dog. I heard they drafting magic. Magic <laughs> coming. <laughs> He ain't like that. the dog, though, because that's his daddy in real life. That's, uh, hold on. That's, that's Norm Nixon's son. Oh, for real? He playing his daddy. Oh, that's what's up. And dog he looked his... look like him for real, though. Dog doing his, oh, no, wait till you see the picture of him back in the day. Oh, okay. If you see the picture of Norm Nixon back yeah. in the day and him now, they look just alike. That's hard that they, dog. The like, is, just alike. Dog who played Magic look just like Magic, like a fresh, like, you know, in the league Magic. Like. Oh, his, his mom is a, a noticeable lady, too. For real? Yeah, Norm Nixon, his mom. What is that? Late? I gotta look that shit up, man. No, nah, that's that show is put together really, really well though. Like I like hell that show. yeah, just the way they shoot that shit. Whole yeah, they nine. shoot they shoot it like it's still in the seventies, like late seventies and shit. Like that shit hard. Even how uh, when how how Pat Riley came into the organization and shit. Yeah, I didn't know Pat Riley was going through it like that after he retired, bro. He retired at thirty four too. That's crazy. Let me see what is. Your man's Drew. Your man's was going through it, man. Before he became a, a heat, man. Uh, Say that coke had him. Probably so. Pat looked like he was on the bag. <laughs> <laughs> Pat was out there. Pat was out there on playing pickup ball and then coming home with nothing to do, man. My boys got that man off the streets to nigga, be the coach, man. Nigga, calm his head. Debbie like, Allen. Oh, Debbie Allen's mom's. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he supposed to be acting. Debbie Allen is his mom's. That's what's up, bro. Mm-hmm. So Felicia Rashad is auntie. Mm-hmm. That's it crazy, bro. Damn. Damn, that's what's up. Yeah, man. They, that whole time. Yeah, they got a lot of shit going now, he on. Probably, he probably had a, a lit-ass yeah. childhood. But shout out to Dog, though, because he's doing his thing in now, Snowfall, is, too, as Kane. He is He is Kane. Yeah, mm-hmm. he is Kane. He, for what I've seen, he is Kane. But, um... Overall, like like you say, like if they keep the show like how it is, mm-hmm. like that's that's gonna be an A one show, bro. Because even how they even down to how they film it, how they how the just the dynamic of the whole show, that shit is hard. Like fire as fuck. Jerry West got me crying in that show, bro. I did not know Jerry West was like that. Like <laughs> you know, he got some grievance with that shit yeah, too. Though a lot, a lot of them don't like yeah. the show, bro. They don't like the show. I do kind of feel like they did overblow Jerry just a little bit. I don't think Dog really took his finals MVP trophy and smashed that <laughs> motherfucker now. I know he was frustrated for losing and then one being a finals MVP. No, one and eight. One and, yeah, one and eight. Hey, bro. That's a lot of losses. Hey, that nigga Red Arbor was coming in and they're talking shit, too. Like, man, he was cutting his ass all the time. 
I hey, would too. Hey, when Bus bought this, t- when, he, when he bought the team, Red came in and he was like, "Yo, y'all, y'all not beating us. This this decade mine too." He told him that, like this this new decade had to be mine too, bro. I don't give a fuck about that. Hey man, but you know it was hey, showtime. How many rings Larry Bird got? Three. Larry, shit, out the out that eighties uh, decade, yeah, like three. Three. Magic got five. Yeah. That's definitely the Lakers decade. Can't take that from them. <laughs> no, y'all niggas was battling for real. I wonder if they gonna introduce MJ. They got to. They kinda have to if they if they talk if they're gonna be discussing the whole Lakers show. They can't fumble that man now. No, they can't. You gotta get the right person. You gotta now. get the right everybody, person, bro. You got everybody look like they character. The Gatorade bro. commercial showed y'all what y'all need to do, bro. <laughs> That's one of the hardest commercials I've ever seen, bro. You know what's so crazy? Cause a lot of people on Twitter didn't know about that Gatorade commercial with Jordan and Mr. Shot. Remember oh, that they commercial? Never, they never seen that one? Uh, like you got to think now. That commercial came out oh three oh four. Yeah, because it, it was them. It it was that. It was with Derek Jeter. Remember yeah. the one with Derek Jeter uh, tossed the ball at the plate and yeah. dog caught him out. They had that one that was a misplay. Uh-huh. Jordan missed a shot. What was another one? It was some misplays. But basically, the theme of the get of the of the commercial was oh. What if, it, yeah. it, what if they didn't drink the Gatorade? Yeah. This is what would have happened. That Craig Elo one was crazy though. So when I saw Ballsack repost it. People was really like, yeah. oh, y'all niggas is nasty. No, bro, this is a commercial. It's a commercial they thinking real. that people on Twitter edited the video. And as you know, there's a lot of young people out here. Because a lot of people, because you showed me the little shit where niggas didn't know that people called Jay-Z Hove. And I'm like, bro, that's... Dog, this thing could be 21 in August, but that's still, That's common knowledge, bro. bro like, but still. The nigga said, who's Hove? I'm like, you trolling? Because I think dog trolling. like, no. Like, and he searched it in the fucking music. He was like, no, who is that? I said, nigga, that's Jay-Z. He's like, just say Jay Z, nigga. Everybody know oh, who is Jay Z, nigga. <laughs> that's that's crazy to me, bro. Like, I didn't even. I was like, Brandon, bro, you born two thousand one. I want to ask, still, bro, is he trolling? Like, did he not know that for real? Like, I asked him. I'm like, bro, you trolling me? He was like, nah. Like, who is who? Larry Hoover? Like, come on, man. That was what had me tripping. Hoover? How you get Hoover from Hove? Like. That's nasty. That's crazy. That's crazy. I understand you born 01, but no, nigga, still. But I was talking about that uh the Gatorade commercial. It was the Jordans playing each other. That's fire. That was one of that's one of the hardest Best commercials <laughs> ever. <laughs> Them niggas was getting busy, bro. That hey, was- said, Mike, who good next? He said, you go ahead and get your young ass out there. <laughs> <laughs> no, the middle, the middle Jordan was giving them niggas the business, bro. Uh-huh. That was what that was what 90, that was 91 Jordan? No, was that 80. was that was 80s Jordan. All right, so oh it was it was UNC Jordan, then 80s Jordan, and then 90s Jordan. So no, it was it was Wizards Jordan playing against uh 80s Bulls Jordan. 80s Bulls Jordan, then, then college Jordan UNC walked up Jordan. at the end. Okay, yeah. yeah. 80s Jordan was giving Wizards Jordan the business, bro. Yeah. But Wizards Jordan was still giving him no, the he buckets was giving the business too, but that 80s Jordan was no, the was a, that, that nigga <laughs> was doing the dunks bro. and all type of shit. That nigga was I was watching that commercial as a kid, like, damn, dog. Like, I think dog, no, like that Jordan, like from 80s to like 93 was freakishly athletic, bro. It, freakishly it athletic. Don't make, it don't make no sense, bro. Like if you watch, because I remember, uh, you ever seen like them old like come fly with me like tapes? Bro, listen, look at this picture. Because I saved this shit the other day. Because somebody was like, oh, this nigga might jump, in, jump high in the air to shoot a basketball shot. They were talking about me. I was like, yeah, like Jordan, nigga. So <laughs> there's this picture. There's this picture where he was playing USA basketball. Let me see if I can pl- uh, find this shit. Uh, he like way in the air. Look at that shit. Look how high he is on the jump shot. That's a jump shot. Yeah. There's no way you blocking that. <laughs> <laughs> how do you how do you contest that? Look at the dude. Look how look how he looking up. Like there's no way. Like there's no way. Like you're out to play. Like you're not even. You know. Oh, Jordan was freakishly athletic, bro. That shit was crazy. In basketball, who do you think some of the best athletes to come through? Like, all right, we got well, Jordan. LeBron number one. Yeah, LeBron Jordan. I still think about that. Remember that even one? some dunkers who came through. Vince, Vince, Dominique, Desmond Mason, Desmond Mason. People don't give Desmond Mason. Derrick Rose, right? Russ. Yeah. Uh, shit. Now Zach Levine. Zach, you got Zach. You got uh. Somebody. Oh, Gerald Green. Gerald Green. Af- that was a that was a freakish athlete right freakish here, athlete. bro. God, Dwight. Damn. Dwight. Bro, Desmond Mason was one of my favorite dunkers. J- Jason Richardson. Jason Them Richardson. two battled it out 01, 02, 03 in the dunk contest. Shit. 
young, you, I might get some grievances, but young J.R. Smith was a was a freakish oh, athlete, yeah. bro. Like he was he was getting up there. Facts. Um, just who had just that effortless bounce? Like Derrick Rose, literally had springs in his calves, bro. Um, yeah. Blake Griffin. Oh yeah. Um, we gonna get on Blake later on this show too. <laughs> yeah, bro. We gonna get on Blake. Yeah, shout out, shout out the winning time, though, man. Nah, that's 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 probably gonna move up the ranks of my favorite shows, mm-hmm. like. If they stick to how, they, how it is right mm-hmm. now, like it's the perfect balance of drama, comedy, everything. Like they got that shit. Like yeah, facts. They, they got that. And shit, And when you bro. finish up with Snowfall, bro, I'm telling you, season six is set up perfectly. All right. The, the, this finale probably was one of the best finales they done had. All right. The last, because a lot of people was like, you know, with the tiger and all that that show and all that other shit. I'm gonna say, I'm... just watch that shit, bro, because the last two episodes. Yeah. Some people would say it, it gives you the feel of how it was like season one through three, four. Some people say, I love four. I don't give a fuck. But the last two shows really set up number six. For that's sure. The only, that's the only thing I really been seeing people talk about as far as like their grievances with this season is the Dan and Leon. Shit. They didn't like how Leon is now. What, Leon, Leon or some other shit? No, basically like how he kind of like on his Martin Luther King type shit. I mean, a lot of brothers was on that type of time though. But it's like, how long you going to keep doing that shit? A lot of people had that mindset, dog. Am I really gonna do this shit forever? Yeah, I mean, a lot of people was thinking like that. Like, and then you ask some niggas like, "No, bro, I'm not trying to be in the streets forever. I'm either gonna end up in dead or in jail." But I fuck with it, Drew. You seen the finale? Uh, so far, yeah, yeah, dog. <laughs> Fire, right? Well, season three is gonna be lit. <laughs> what this next? It's the, what's this? Six, the third six. six. Okay, six season. Yeah, it's about to be lit. And it's the last, last one. one. Oh yeah, it's gonna be. Cool. Oh, they set it up. Now I'm telling you, they set that shit up perfectly. They made Alley. that shit up, bro. Yes, they did. Shit is, oh, shit is open like a motherfucker, dog. I'm going to get on it today. I got nothing to do when I get in the house. This shit this is going to be like... Hey, dog. Franklin pulled a LeBron game six, bro. That's all I got. No, he pulled a LeBron 2016 in the finals. That's all I'm going to say. Will you catch up, bro? Yeah, you going to see what I'm talking he about. He came back 3-1? <laughs> what? Drew, I'm lying? Nope. Dog came back 3-1. It wasn't on no... This was like really realistic type 3-1 type shit. Like this nigga had to get like like dog was down bad, you know. You know bad. Like, and this like my saying like it be niggas that be getting like preparing themselves to to leave the game. You know what I mean? And he was Franklin was rolling in that light, but the light just wasn't ready for him yet. You know what I'm saying? So he's about to get this shit bracking. His mom dog get this shit bracking. She about bro. to get this shit bracking. Like this shit about to get crazy. Dude. But dog really I'm, is down bad. The way they the way that they got him back right, you would be like, oh shit, like this motherfucker really back. Like he me, really, yeah. really back. The LSD oh shit, we can't even fuck up. Well, anyway, but yeah, man. That whole shit, like ever yeah. since that moment, it was just like for Franklin, it's just like Oh, my daughters needed the L S D trip to get back right. Yeah, man. man, listen, man, after that episode, it was like it, the it, last it's, it's, it's two more it's two more episodes after that. Yeah. So you got the episode nine, you got the finale of the L S D episode, but it was like, no, dog got back in his back. But the right. last episode it's like, damn, bro. Like, how the fuck he gonna get about this one? And it was like, oh shit. I had to pause that shit a couple of times. Like, I rewatched it about two, three times. I had to take a breath, boy. It was a lot of shit happening. Yeah, man. A lot it was of a shit. A lot of shit. But shout out to them boys, man. I don't be listening to Twitter when they be talking all this slander and shit. Twitter oh. slander some shit, man. Now, yeah. that's somebody asked me. Somebody told me, yeah, I'm been watching Snowfall. My like, bro, season five and four is a one. Don't listen to Twitter, bro. Yeah. Straight up. Because they've been killing it, and I only, I only haven't been watching it because I was like, man. I'll just watch it when it when it's over with, so I can just catch up. I've been watching uh, I watch Moon Knight more than I watch Snowfall. Honestly, mm-hmm. I like Moonlight. Moon Knight. I haven't started watching that yeah. shit yet. That shit fire. That shit fire. For, for it only be six episodes, I'm on. Well, I'm caught up. It's it's only two more left, but yeah, that shit fire too. They was they added a uh, Queen of the South, the latest episode, which but it's been out a whole year, but they just added that shit to Netflix and shit. Have y'all seen any of it? I, 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 I only I was watched in, about a few shows on Netflix. I was uh, Stranger Things and Ozark. I was in Queen of the South when it was on USA. Mm-hmm. I was like on the first couple of seasons, I kind of fell off. But I heard it was an A1 show too, though. I heard that's an A1 show. So let's talk about it, man. Netflix, they going to be out the paint soon? HBO Max got things HBO put on Max, their neck. HBO now, Max. Now, if they start getting shows like Winning Time... Oh yeah, it's it over. might be trouble it's for them because if, I mean, if you really look at it, HBO Max they killing it. They got Euphoria, bro. I'm not paying for Netflix. I'll be okay. They got Euphoria. They got Winter Shout Time. Out my plug. They got they got all kind of shows already. All it take is for people to really set their eyes on the HBO original series because they've been dropping quality series. It's just that people 
ain't really done on it because HBO at the end of the day, HBO is really known for other shit. But see me, me personally, I'm a yearly subscription type person, depending on the streaming platform. Right. So like I paid since since, since Disney Plus came, y'all remember I was a big advocate for Disney mm-hmm. Plus when it came out. Yeah, I paid a yearly when that shit come. HBO Max, I decided to do the same thing. Netflix, I got to connect on that, so I ain't worry about that. But with them losing so many subscribers, bro, listen, we it went from Netflix being. Eight the top dollars. dog, yeah, the eight, yeah. To now, what nineteen? Almost nineteen, yeah. No, it's not almost nigga. And then I remember nineteen. Then I remember when Netflix had all but, the Nickelodeon shit on there. Yep. That, that shit ain't gone. on there no that more. So now it's just like y'all really trying to roll the ball with your original shows. Okay, cool. You got some movies on there, bro. HBO Max got Boondocks on there. Yeah. They got all the Batman. They got shit. Martin on there. They just the Batman, the Batman. Yeah. That shit on there now. But they got all the they Batman. They got all the Batman. They got all of Reg- yeah, all of them, <laughs> all of them. Yeah. So it's like when I saw Boondocks on it because I was just man, let me see if they got this on here because no, Hulu got, had it and they only got like a few episodes on. No, there. they got the whole thing. They got the whole the shit. Whole thing. See, Netflix fucked up because they're trying to do packages now, being nineteen ninety nine that being the top premiere. I think like the lowest could be like seven ninety nine. But what they do is it's the quality of how the video is gonna be played. Ah, uh, so they break it on so HBO Max do they, they, they used br- to do that like when the Netflix had just started. It used to be H D and regular Yeah, seven twenty, then HD. Then, then when they got four K and shit, it was like that. But HBO Max they keep the same quality. They do theirs. They break theirs up by ads. Mm. And I didn't even know that because originally I was paying the things. So I was like, man, the yearly subscription one fifty. Yeah. So it's ad free, and then you shout got the ones who not ad free. Shout out my plug on the HBO Max, man. Yeah. <laughs> shit fire. That's shit fire. And then Disney Plus, I think, is eighty nine. Right, years. HBO Max coming from Netflix because, like I said, like they got all of that shit. They got all of the old shows that you want to watch. They got Wayne's Brothers, Martin. They got all kind of shit on there, bro. They got movies, all kind of shit. And and Disney Plus gonna be good because for number one, all they shit is. You can't even have they shit on other platforms. No. So like all the Avengers shit, all the Disney all the Marvel shit shows, is going there. Um, Pixar shit. Yeah. That shit ain't on. The you whole, can't watch Toy Story. The on whole Netflix Pixar HBO legacy Max. is on there. So all that Pixar legacy shit, all that shit is on there. Yeah. It's just you can't rewind with HBO Max. So that's the only thing. Like when I when I try to rewind, like when I stream from my phone to my TV. And then I try to rewind the shit. The shit like starts completely. See, I ain't see now you. Now nah, they was getting on I can my rewind. nerves. Oh, they, you, you probably it's probably because you on your phone streaming. I don't know, but I can rewind on mine. Do 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 y'all shit move slow through the TV? Mm. Like even when you going over the hit. Letters and shit. The, the operating system is kind of sluggish. It is kind of sluggish, okay. but they have been working on it though. They've they been need to on fix it. that shit because that shit lag as yeah. a motherfucker. The iOS was because when I was sluggish. watching Space Jam two on HBO Max, that shit got to a point and that shit was cutting the fuck up on me. I'm like, yeah. all right, man, what the fuck is going on? But also, the HBO Max you only can watch on Wi Fi. You can't watch that shit on, through your data plan. No, yes, you can. You got to set it. They got a setting for that. Oh. Trust me, because when I was at work trying to watch some shit, I had to go to the setting and do that. All right, yeah, I need to do that shit. Because I'd be like, man, I've been You can watch to, it through your data. I've been wanting to watch shit off that shit, but like, like especially like these weddings and shit, like loading up yeah. and shit. Yeah, man, but. Hey, Netflix in trouble, man. That's but yeah, I it's only say. so many shooting platforms I'm going to have because I got Hulu plus live TV for, because I got to have that to watch games. Show. And shout out to them. They've been holding me down for a few years now. Um, cause I had I had to go through a couple of different bullshits like Sling ass, Sling is ass, ass. They don't even have the local channels like that. Sling ass. Um, but shout out to Hulu plus Hulu Live TV. Then I got HBO Max. So it's like I'm not gonna be keeping. Oh, about to get rid of stars because matter of fact, let me go ahead and cancel. <laughs> Yeah, anything coming up in that shit? No, Star? that's it. No, that's it. Power over with. Power so over with. There's no need to have it. Yeah. Ain't no need and to plus, have I watch it. I watch my stars through Amazon Prime, so I don't even I don't even have stars. Shout out to my Amazon Prime plug too. Amazon Prime is lethal. Yeah. I paid a yearly subscription for that too. That's because that's with everything. Yeah. Plus, yeah. you got uh, Invincible on there. You got The Boys. When that shit coming back? It's supposed to be this year. And Amazon Prime be having some NFL games now. Yeah, they now. do. They do. NFL, yeah. You going to talk had, about some shit they I doing watched, later. Um, I watched um, the J. Cole, the, Dream, the Dreamville Fest on Amazon Prime. I heard about that. And the, uh, the Kanye, some of the, the Kanye concert was on there with Drake. It was on there. Yeah. They, they shot having, it on there. They be having live events on there. Shit, they got Coachella streaming on Amazon Prime and all. So that should be, that should be lit too. 
So, hey, man, Netflix in trouble, bro. That's all I got to say, man. First off, they can't share logins. Then y'all up in the price. Y'all, y'all shows, I mean, <laughs> what are we talking about? Yeah, and it's like no need for a lot of shit. Like, that's what only keeps stars for when the shows come back, and then after that, I get rid of that shit. Yeah, I don't even got stars no more. So that's a dub. So, hey, what man. else? What else? What else? Uh, been coming out lately as far as uh movies, TV shows. Ozark could be back next week. Shout out to them. One of the best shows ever. Hey, that's man, come we, back on the 29th. We we about two weeks away from uh from Doctor Strange too, man. It's it's coming, bro. Oh yeah, you was talking about that last week. It's coming, bro. <laughs> Stars trying to keep me for a two ninety nine for a, another three. It ain't worth cool. it. Bro. It ain't worth it, bro. It ain't worth it, bro. It ain't worth it. Bro. I just canceled my shit. <laughs> Your subscription to <laughs> Stars will not be live renewed during taping, bro. That's crazy. Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> Get him out of here, man. Get him out of here, man. Niggas getting kicked out <laughs> on the tapings. <laughs> yeah, man. That shit, wow, man. They got to May 14th, so I'm good. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Catch my love. Finish little BMF. I need to go ahead and watch that shit. Yeah, finish BMF and then it's over with, bro. Dan, Andrew, you ain't uh, look at BMF There's yet? so much shows, dog. It's, it's a so lot of shows. It's a lot of shows. Fucking whack-ass All-American still watching dumb shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause I've, I've been giving up on that shit, bro. Shit's so whack, but it's still so... That, that's a UPN show at its heart, bro. <laughs> like, for real. Like, they got the... Uh, they got the All American Homecoming also, so they split the shit. So wait, they have a, a spin off All American show? Drew, stop it, bro. <laughs> stop it, bro. Don't do that to yourself, brother. I see somebody run a trash ass round on that shit, and I said, I know I would never watch this shit. <laughs> Bro, these niggas was like, playing. You're not, you not fooling nobody with that. Bro, route, they, my nigga. first off, them niggas had on like baseball cleats. Like y'all not even, y'all not even have no football equipment. Like stop it, Drew. Don't watch the <laughs> Drew. Uh, <laughs> Drew. Uh, All American spinoff is nasty, bro. It ain't bad though. It's it's, it's, it's kind of bad. I'm not though. hearing it, Drew. It's for tennis and shit, and not the football shit. So they have a tennis All American. So it's the show. It's Jordan's girlfriend. The, uh, what's her name? Simone. No, you know, I no. think her name is Simone. Okay, yeah. yeah, so it's about her basically, and like she's at an HBCU and playing tennis. Yeah, and then, then you remember the nigga Cam that um they was like beefing with. Yeah, yeah, he's on the shit, and it's a different light of Cam also. Like he uh yeah she has um found out he has like a fucking brain disorder and shit like that, so he can't really play football again. So he's like, oh going, he got he got CTE. Yeah, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> nah, but he got um uh. I can't think of the name right now. But anyway, but yeah, you know, it's just a different like of those characters from the main. Thing. And you tuned in. I guess I got time for the bullshit. You got time? <laughs> Bro, I'm, all I'm saying is an all American spinoff sounds crazy. <laughs> from the outside looking in, that sounds crazy. <laughs> it's, it's a US, uh, uh, UPN spinoff. <laughs> That's funny. You say UPN. That's like remember that when, is some UPN type shit. That's like remember when they had Brandy when she went to college when well, Moesha went to college and they tried to squeeze two shows in one. Yeah. It was still Miles at home and then they had Moesha, Moesha at college, at college with college. the girls. Yeah, it's literally the same. <laughs> like they're Jordan's often at he's in uh, on the West Coast, she's on the East Coast. Do they do they still talk to each other like on mm-hmm. the show? He pulls they up. did some transitions when it came to introducing new shows. I tell you that. Yeah, they did. Because Moesha was an introduction. Well, to Parker's, Parker's was to Parker's. Uh, Girlfriends was an introduction to the game. Yeah. Um, what was another introduction? Those are really the two that I remember for sure. Moesha was an introduction to Parker's, and then Girlfriends was an introduction to the game. A lot of people don't know that. In the house, in the house was um, a spinoff too. Of uh, was it was either a spinoff or a show came after in the house. I can't remember, but yeah, that was a that was a that was a transitional show too, bro. Because y'all know that still picture that's going around of Carlton now when he was in the uh, uh, ain't nobody the, <laughs> the video. <laughs> and they were, I was like, Don Elo having Carlton in the video was crazy. Like, bro, they had a whole show they had together. A whole show together, bro. Right. For real. But that would have been. And like that would have been crazy. That like, video literally had everybody in it, Drew. Mm-hmm. That no, ain't nobody real. video. That shit, had LA, literally I, everybody in it. See, Martin, pops. I, I'm gonna get on that in a minute. But imagine like Will when Will them boys went to uh, college and shit. If they 
did a spinoff of that. I think that would have been dope. That would be hard. That that's what I think that would have been dope. I think that would be the only sh- series I really would have said would have been successful. Because that was the end of the show when yeah. when they when he moved. Because where was Uncle Phil and them moving to? They went to New York. They went. To, yeah, they was. They going moved to New, New York. York and um and Will, Will stayed, was saying to go to Will college. Stayed, yeah. But yeah, that but Carlton Carlton left too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Carlton should have stayed with Will, and they just went to college and thugged it out. That should have been hard. That would have been hard, man. That would have been a hard show. Otherwise, there ain't no lie. It probably won't even been about two, three seasons, though. That's all you really need, though. Yeah, yeah. That's ain't all you really many. need, because Will's about to start this as this movie run, so that's mm. all you really yeah, need. Yeah, yeah. But video productions during those times, like LL, Missy Elliott, like certain people videos, like they took the time to really put on a good ass. Video. Yeah, I think the videos back then cost way more. So 100%. the budgets was the budgets was like million dollars. You know what I'm saying? So they had they had to be lavish. You yeah. know what I'm saying? This nigga LL been in all kind of nigga had a hard hat on. Like, all yeah. kind of, like <laughs> I think video budgets died around like oh seven, oh six. When mm-hmm. when niggas could just buy cameras, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, and film their own videos, do their own shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah you. That's right. when video budgets died. Cause Wayne shot, I probably steady mobbing probably didn't cost him shit at all. That looked like somebody who just had a camera in the crib, yeah. and I think a milli probably was like the last video budget video. Like if you really look at a milli, that was probably the last like put together video. No, no, I think Nitch- Otis. Nah, you right, Otis. But see, Nip, yeah, and uh, because that that oh. Lamborghini alone was like five hundred racks. But Nip, Nip started doing like like movie type, you know, nigga shut down the interstate. To do yeah, it, you know what I'm saying. Well, uh, Nipsey, yeah. Oh, but you, he was that's all out of pocket. That's though. all out of pocket. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm okay. talking about like actually getting like, like an a actual like a budget, oh, okay. like gotcha, you know what I'm saying. Got you, got you, got you. Yeah. But Nipsey, yeah, you right. Videos, Nipsey right. was doing that out of pocket though. Yeah. Nipsey Ross, like when Ross had the. Uh, what was, what was his uh, Spliff, Spliff TV? Spliff TV, yeah. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Untouchable Empire. Untouchable Empire, like, yeah. That nigga so, jumping off that Yeah, niggas ain't really put in the... It, dog, you <laughs> won't know somebody got a video for a song unless you go search that shit. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's where videos at. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of songs I didn't know have music videos. See, that's, I'm always on YouTube. Like, I don't watch shit other than, like, if I'm on TV, I'm watching videos. Like, Bars in the Bando is one of the things I watch a lot of. And yeah. that's just, like, catching up on local artists. Like, Need It with Migos and Youngboy? I didn't know they had a video. Yeah, because we don't, like, there's no there's no more, like, video shows yeah, on no the video public. Yeah, there's no video shows to force on the, like, on the, So, essentially, channels. is there a need to have a video for a song now? I feel like there is. There's just not a, there's just not a central platform where people know that to watch the videos at no mm-hmm. more. You know what I'm saying? Like BET was known you could watch. They had at least one show a yeah, block yeah, on we, BET where you yeah, can watch videos. Right, MTV had week. at least one block where you know videos gonna be on. Now it's like you gotta have the special channel for BET to watch the videos. Like if you don't got BET jams, MTV jams, you're not gonna know who got videos out. Michael you know Jackson used to put some effort in his videos. Yeah, those used to be events. Michael Jackson used to have premiere Saturday. Morning on like y'all Fox. remember y'all remember when they on had Fox. they had the uh the, what was that vi- that show on MTV where they used to actually make the video and premiere it at the end it was like the world premiere the world premiere uh, video oh, I can't remember the, I don't yeah, remember the name of the show yeah yeah, they used, yeah it was behind yeah, the video yeah. or some shit like that yeah they had they used to actually the, vi- the, the show was them making the video, video. then uh-huh. at the end they, used to they have actually the vid- premiered the video yeah, yeah. they yeah. showed the making of it I can't remember the name I know exactly what you talking that was about. a hard dog. they don't do shit like that no but more, like. Michael Jackson used to premiere his video on national yeah that TV. used to be an event like hey Michael Michael Jackson about to come on like like when he premiered um <sighs> who was the Remember the time had his own event. Remember the time premiered on Fox. Yeah. Uh, all his music videos I remember when I was a kid premiered on Fox. What was the one? The one where he was like kind of like uh, held. He was held and the, and the wind was blowing on him and it was like like the, it was showing like the world like it shambles and shit. Oh, they don't give a damn about us, dog. That was an event too. <laughs> Black and white. Black and white. Yeah. That was probably one of the biggest premieres yeah, that for was. his videos. That bro. was. They they used to stop live TV for Michael Jackson, bro. That was one with Macaulay Culkin, right? Yeah, Ma- Macaulay Culkin was in black and white. And the introduction to his videos, cause it was like a whole like little, like a little setup. movie type shit. Duh. Macaulay Culkin was playing the fucking guitar and his yeah. dad was going crazy. Remember the time it was like a movie, my, uh, Eddie Murphy and um, who was, who was the model name? I can't remember. I know who you're talking about. Though. I think it's Iman. Iman, yeah, yeah. They was like pharaohs and shit. Like, pharaohs. Yeah, bro. That was probably his best video. Shit, Magic Johnson was, was a Magic Johnson was, was in that, that video. video. <laughs> yup. That might be his best video. I well, fuck with that the video. Time? Yeah. That and uh, 
Um, Smooth Criminal. Oh yeah, Smooth Criminal was my shit too. That was the shit. But people don't put that. They don't put that time into that shit no more. Like Thriller that. used to freak the fuck out of me, bro. When Thriller came on. But Thriller too long to me, man. Yeah, it is long as that fuck. That shit long as fuck. That's a movie. Now that's nah, a- that shit long as fuck. I'm cool on Thriller. Great song, but that video is long as that shit. That video long as a motherfucker, bro. That you know, and you know that's how much impact Mike got because uh, Tory Lanez and Channing Waterfalls, it does it does a Thriller type. Mm. It, he got a Thriller type theme to that shit. Except no more is at the uh, the the skating rink. I heard that that album actually dope, like that '80s album he did. That shit is fire. I got to listen to that shit. No, listen. I know you're not a, a Tory Lanez like listener for his music. That nigga really make great no, I, fucking I heard, music. I heard that album's fire. Like I ain't like people just ain't saying that shit just cause. Like no, this nigga really make great music. That '80s, the weekend tried to do that shit. He, he ain't fucking with the boy. Like hold on, no, that that weekend's '80s album fire too. Tory bro. shit way better. All right, I gotta Way take your word. I, I'm gonna listen to it. Way but better. That week is eighty. Because here's the fine. thing: it's like because you know how people say, "Oh, there used to be the thing with Tory Lanez about, oh, all he do is a sampling like old sounds yeah. and shit." No, this shit different. He kind of got off like, that he though. Take, he take the eighty sound and make it sound modern, yeah. and it don't sound forced. So it's not like he taking any eighty song and making a sample. Like he, he really it's, taking a, it's like, a whole new song. It's a whole new song, right. bro. Like he not taking like Thriller. He not taking um. He not doing the Youngberg shit, sampling shit in this. No, like shit. even when he did with the chick tapes, he's not doing that. This right. shit different. This shit is completely different. And then like his own album, um, Playboy. That was one of the best R and B albums last year. Then he had a uh, Loner. That was fired the end of twenty twenty. Then you had Daystar. That shit was fire. Like, he don't got no misses for real. Right. Like, really don't. But the 80s album, um, Alone at Prom, yeah. you got to listen to I that heard, shit. I heard that shit was gas. So I ain't going to cap. You going to fuck with it. While, while we on music, man, It's Almost Dry came out this week, man. How y'all feeling about It's Almost Dry? I fuck with it, man. Brambleton out the gate. That shit fire. Brambleton was fire. Call My Bluff fire. Um, um, what's the song? Open Air fire. <laughs> The one that everybody was talking about. Uh, of course, the song with Jay-Z. Rock and Roll with Kanye and Cudi. That was That hard. shit was fire. But I like, just so you remember, that shit That, that shit was fire, too. Of course, you know, Pray For You with uh with his brother. I give, I give the album a strong nine, nine, eight and a half out of ten. And it's 12 tracks. That's perfect. I'm, yeah, a, I'm an advocate for 12 to 15 It track. ain't doing too much. It ain't doing too little. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's not going to top Daytona at seven, but I mean... No, he did his thing with it. I he did with his it. thing. He did his thing but with it. But somebody guy. that still had that same, uh, as far as content and still it's not stale. maintained and not outdated. You're not trying to do no different shit. I fuck with it. Yeah, he, I mean, he said that, though. He said, like, yo, like, this is just who I am. Like, I'm not trying to do what I'm not. You know what I'm saying? Even when he had his listening party, he had this shit called Coachella. Yeah, Coachella. A lot of people thought it was corny, but, I mean, that's his brand. So you kind of got to. You know, it is what it is. Uh, like I said, I give it a strong eight and a half, nine out of ten. Good album from Push. Good album. Good album. Future dropping. Future dropping. Boogie uh, Man back the, May thirteenth. <laughs> Boogie Man back May thirteenth. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it, bro. How you? <laughs> you gotta be good, man. Hey, we here now. Right, yeah, we, we here we now. Be good, man. We got a date. We got a date. And bro. then my dog promo his shit on somebody else's sweet. Oh, somebody else tweet, Twitter, bro. Twitter That's crazy. crazy. Oh, so we got, so hold on. We got Thug. We got Thug. Thug Robert. coming back. We got Future. We got, Future. Uh, we got um, Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick. We just got uh, Pusha T. Somebody else supposed to be dropping. Somebody else. It's another album coming, bro. Hold on, bro. Damn, who is another like noticeable per- person supposed to be dropping something? But damn, that's four albums off top we got coming, bro. Like, summer going to be lit. I expect a good album for Kendrick. I, it gotta be good. Five years. This guy. <laughs> Five years, man. For you. <laughs> Five years. Hey, I mean. But hey, man, I, I on for jokes reason, I'm gonna say five years. But you know, reason I can't put a time stamp on nobody art. You know, I get it, but. You know, you talking and smoking on top five shit, man. You know, hey man, it, might, it, see. Might, it might be some numerology there, man. Smoking on top fives, five years, dropping in May, the fifth year. <laughs> oh, oh, you getting in your bag? I'm in, my, <laughs> I'm, in, I'm in my bag. You know what I'm saying? Quantum <laughs> physics, man. It's yeah, here. okay, five. It's here. five, 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 five. Damn, five years out the game. 
Dropping May 5th. Okay, he's smoking on top five. Smoking on top fives. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Fuck with me, brother. Fuck with me. Fuck with me. hell, man. Yeah, man. But yeah, I'm expecting good albums from all, from all four of them, bro. Like, I think this summer's going to be a good summer for hip hop. Yeah, man. Future dropping, so everything's going to be good. This is coming off the heels of five of you saying that, you know, Atlanta not relevant as, as New York Drew. <sighs> So as soon as he said that Thug dropped his announcement, Future dropped his announcement. Like, hey, nigga. Y'all don't have this. The shit. fuck is you talking Y'all about? Y'all not top dog, man. <laughs> Sorry. New York is not top dog. Hey, what you know what's crazy, though? As soon as one of them niggas say something, bro, they are, they're quickly reminded as their sound is not even their sound. Yeah, it's not. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all rap on the UK version of Chicago. You know what I'm saying? Chicago is the father. Of Y'all are the stepped on, stepped on. Yeah, a lot of y'all should have stepped on. Y'all ain't got nobody really like Hardy doing her thing. Then after that, it's like who? It can't y'all. Uh, I don't even waste too and much time. I can't time really even really count Cardi, bro, because she's not really active. She's active not. Like she's that. not active. Active like that. But at the same time, she's still. If you want to say Cardi's icon status at this time, like it's about it's about there. But I just can't give her that off the strength of one album. You know what I'm saying? So. As a notable that was figure, 2017, that was 18. 20, 2018. 20, yeah. What was that, 2018? No, it might have been 17. It bro. might have been 2017, bro. But I'm just saying, like, you know, if we going off uh, off her persona, like, you know, her her public following, she's an icon, but I just can't give her the musical icon shit yet. She's done a lot, you know, within the industry and outside of the industry as far as her, like, you know, business, but... I don't know. So that's what I'm saying. Like, who? I mean, Nikki there, but I, how you even feel about these Nikki songs coming oh, out? Oh, that was 2018. Invasion of Pride, so four years. Nikki, what? <laughs> how you even feel about these Nikki songs that she's been dropping? Cause she's, With Five I mean, she seemed like she'd been promoting. Well, the little Baby one was cool. Five Year, uh, the video been, was hard though. It's been like three songs she's dropped so far. Three or four. Something like that, yeah. She got two of little Baby, then the one with Five Year. Yeah, so it's we like. We go up. How 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 you what's your verdict? They just there? Yeah, it's just kinda there. So it's like, I mean, who's really She should she should have did a video for seeing green, man. That was the one she dropped with uh what's who's nobody Beat was. Beat me up the Scotty. That was one that one of the new tracks that was. Got you. Okay, Scotty. yeah. Uh, That's with Drake and Wayne. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, why she didn't do that? She should have did a video for that. That would have been hard. Wayne went crazy on that bitch, man. It would have been easy to get them Woo. two in the video. Like, yeah, I mean, they did only together. Yeah. I don't know, man. Um, that should have been a single that she really... I think she would have did crazy numbers with that. Yeah, that, that was a layup. I don't know, man. That might have been a... a and fumble. all of them was rapping, rapping on yeah, that, that shit. that might have been a fumble on the team, man. Oh, Meg dropped a, a, a single, Plan B. How you feeling about she it? She was rapping on that shit, man. She was really rapping on that shit. It sounded kind of mid to me when she was performing at that Coachella. I didn't listen to the iTunes oh, release, okay. though. But she was rapping on that I'm shit. A, I'm going to check it out, then. See what she I need about. her to get back in like her freestyling type rapping, rapping bag, man. Yeah. Because you know, that's one thing she can do for sure. Make it rap now when she really wants to. I want to get her. I want to see her like on a song with Nicki. And um, what's old girl? The one who just had, who dropped the album. Um. Damn, what's shorty name, man? Mulatto. Oh, Mulatto. All three of them get like just get like on a get just like on a track where you gotta just rap. I want I want to see that. Hey man, I'm like, I'm gonna be real, man. I don't think none of them can rap better than Tierra Wack though. She just don't got the sex appeal. No, nah, Tierra Wack definitely rap better than Meg. <laughs> Tierra Wack, she rap circles around a lot of them. You think she rap better than Nicki? It's, I don't know. It's up there. Her 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 skills is up there, bro. No, Tierra get busy. Get <laughs> she is, she, uh, she uh, rap better than a lot of no, niggas. She 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 rap better than Rap City. Yes, <laughs> yes. I think she do too. <laughs> She's nice as hell. That's what I say. Her and Meg on the track together. I don't know. It might be a long day. It's, no, Meg, Meg gonna be swimming like. That's what I'm saying. We need a track like that, like on some like how Jack Harlow and Drake got on the track together. We need one of them type because we don't got that with women rappers no more, we man. Don't. They Two do, of them know, need you, to get on the record together. You know what it is? You know what it is? We kind of, not us, but um, the, 
the the listeners kind of did that. Like the woman kind of afraid to get on the track together and just rap, like try to go at each other neck on the track because they're gonna make it something that is not between them. Mm. Yeah, I think now like whenever women do kind of have like just just not even a beef, just like a, a verbal. They'll be like, spar. oh, who's she talking about? Yeah, like who's she talking about? But like really, like she just rapping. respectfully rapping, like you know what I'm saying? Like we kind of did that. As far as like Meg, you know, Tierra, Wack, and Nicki Minaj on a record, it's gonna be some conversations about that. That's what we need, though. You know what I'm saying? That'd be a dope ass song. That'll be man. a dope ass song. That'll be a dope ass song, and it'll give to me. I feel like it'll give Tierra a lot of what she needs, like a yeah, lot of her flowers. Sure. You get a Nicki cosign. That's I think amazing. that's the, oh, that's who really deserved the Nicki cosign. Like we talking about because I saw some shit where. Uh, what was it, Flo Millie and some other female artists was like, yo, I got a, a follow from the queen. And I'm like, bro, like, what's she going to show some love to Tierra Wack? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? I think Nicki is really is open to embracing artists. I think she really just be just be out here making music. I think she, she, she would embrace anybody, to be honest with you. Right. I wouldn't argue that. Because she is just be giving out features to anybody now. She gave a feature to Corla Ray. <laughs> <laughs> she not nice, bro. I'm sorry. Hey, man. She's not nice. I'm not, not I'm nice, not the bro. biggest Coil Ray fan, but I, 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 I see her place where in music as of today. I can't get with it. I mean, that's not for me neither, but I, I see where it makes sense for her. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I just can't. I, I can't get with it, man. I, can't I mean, I, I understand it because it's not really my cup of tea neither, but I mean, I get it. For everybody else, you know, they was going up to her last night in the Coliseum. You gotta think. I mean, yeah, she got a little fan. That's what I'm saying. You got, you got to think her demographic, though. You know what I'm saying? But it is so, what, what it if is. you have a large? <sighs> My bad. What if you have a large fan base, but your your sales don't reflect that? To like you selling like sixteen thousand first week. To me, uh, or it don't matter. No, I do. Sixteen thousand is still a lot of because like I thought because she has she she came off of. She came off of off of two platinum hits. You know what I'm saying? One one took a while to, to catch some traction and then the best friend shit just pewned. So I'm thinking like she dropped an album, she supposed to at least at least do fifty thousand. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Off top. forty to fifty thousand off top. Thirty. At least thirty. You know what I'm saying? Sixteen, what was it? What was her what was her numbers out the gate? Like sixteen K. Like sixteen K? Like I I ain't feeling that, who, bro. Who was the nigga who did fifteen hundred? Who sold fifteen? Was that Troy Ave? That was Troy Ave. Fifteen hundred. That, that was Troy Ave. And then what, what? What was it? We was talking about five year earlier. Then he sold like, like, like what was it? Fifteen thousand too? Something like that. I don't know. It it's was like, like it's that. like how you how you talk relevance and you do that like. Them niggas in Atlanta are selling fifteen thousand the first. I'm week. not listening to Five Year on a consistent basis. And his album, no. he's trying to do R and B over those over that sound, over that UK drill shit. Yeah, nah, like, brother. Oh. Nah, brother. You got to do something separate with that. <laughs> Mm-mm. All right, man. Uh. Like, like, R. I. P. I don't say this again. R. I. P. Pop Smoke because he was literally carrying New York and he was actually good. Yeah, he was good with his shit. Yeah. <laughs> I was listening to that record with him and Travis the other day, Gotti. Yeah. That shit hard. I was bumming Element before I got off the interstate. Like, oh, that tape hard, though. That's a classic, that Jack Boys. Bro. That's a classic, bro. That's oh, he's talking about the Jack Boys track with him. Tape. Oh, yeah. That whole tape yeah, that is that hard. That whole tape hard. That whole tape is hard, bro. Hey, man. R.I.P. to the king of New York, man. Yeah, Pop Smoke <laughs> really had a chokehold on that shit. For sure. Then you had little niggas who pop out like, uh, who's all who had the song? Whoopty. CJ. Little CJ. He ain't heard nothing from him. Since <laughs> niggas thought he was the next six nine, <laughs> <laughs> it looked like it though. Visually, hey, it did. Hey, I mean, <laughs> hey man, I don't know, man. Um, I guess that's what New York is at right now, as far as I mean, some niggas just be trying to sound the same, man. Because when when CJ came out, I mean, that's some shit Pop Smoker made. That's what I'm saying. Like, so how are we talking? I, I don't understand the whole shit where he was talking. Well, five years talking relevancy. Like, they're not the top dogs. I'm not, brother. Like, I mean, in 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 it theory, sound good though. In theory, you are supposed to like hype up your 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 place of origin, but come on, brother, be real. 
Um, no, we're not doing that. Sorry. <laughs> what else? What else came out, man? But well, that's about it. I think uh, musically, that's about it. Uh, oh, we can. T- oh, we, we talked about Jack Harlow last week because there was a lot of there was a lot of a lot of stuff being said. Um, yeah, we already talked about that. Dog right. is not. No. He cool. He cool though. He cool. Cool. Yeah, that's um, about it. I think that's it. That's about it musically, man. Let me see, just in case I'm missing. It's a good, it's a good week, man. Oh, shout out, uh, DJ Drama birthday this week it was this week, man. Shout out DJ Drama, man. One of the greatest DJs. Did we shout out K Slay last week or was that? Oh, R.I.P. K Slay, man. All right, that happened this week. That, that was this week. Last. Okay, R.I.P. to K Slay, yeah, man. Died we for complications from I COVID, cannot, man. we cannot forget that. That's Can't a forget musical, musical, uh, musical and cultural cultural statue for sure. Mixtape God. You know Speaking saying? of mixtapes, please stop putting these mixtapes out and they stepped on. Wiz Khalifa just dropped Taylor out the dice and that Hi, shit they, don't sound they the They butchered same. the best song on the tape. Yeah, Mia Me Wallace. <laughs> they butchered the shit, bro. I don't get it, man. But um, yeah. R.I.P. to K Slay. Did you see that uh did you see the shit with uh Funk Flex just not getting the office at Hot 97? Mm-mm. He's just not getting his own office space at Hot 97. Like office space where he interviewed people or no his own office. <laughs> so where was he going? He was just going to the I guess where his little booth. I don't mean to say little like to wow. disrespect him, but like his little area where he record at. That's crazy. Now he done been involved with Hot Ninety Seven almost thirty years now. He's just not getting his own office. Yeah, that, that's wild, man. That's wild. He should be running that motherfucker if anything. That shit crazy, man. That shit is insane to me, honestly, man. But uh, <laughs> that's that's <laughs> yeah, Drew <laughs> for sure. <laughs> yeah, but uh, tonight, seven thirty, man. Million dollar worth of game with Tax Tone, man. We you tuning in to that? I'm gonna check it out, man. I think it's gonna be a real good interview. It's good to hear from Tax. Always good to hear from Tax. Um, I saw a few clips that he was posting going around talking about certain things. He really didn't like the the crip walking at the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. He talked about that. He had um, some tweets last night that stood out to me too about uh. About you know the politics that he don't like in in L. A. As far as like checking in and shit like that. Mm. Did you see him? No. So he basically saying like you know he don't understand like why why is checking in only directed towards young black up and coming rappers like why why y'all ain't never asked J Lo to check in ain't or she Justin black Bieber. or Justin Bieber or uh or Bad Bunny why y'all only why y'all mm. only target black people to check in and, and extort. Mm. Didn't they have? That's I think they. Point. I think they ran up on Justin Bieber. If I'm not. No, nah. they embraced him. They, they embraced had the phones him. out and his, his car his car broke, broke his down, car broke down uh, in the, in, in the hood. Stuff. In the hood, his car broke. He ran out of gas, and they didn't. That's you know, wild. So <laughs> that's why you ran out of gas. <laughs> that's crazy, but. Hey man, gas. They, they ain't tap his pockets or nothing. They, tap, they, they, they pull the phones yeah, out. They ain't just be yeah, the hood. But what if that over. was a no? That's a great point because what if that was like a they they would try to they try to they try to do him dirty. Damn, that's a great point, Mo. No, nah, tax tax was in his bag. He was like, "Yo, why 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 won't y'all ask people to check in?" It's always a, a young black artist trying to come up. Why why y'all ain't never tap J Lo pockets? She say nigga all the time. Why y'all ain't never tap Bad Money like these other artists? Why why is why is checking in and extortion only directed towards black people? In y'all a certain cities too, L A, Houston. He's, he was like, "Are y'all scared of white people?" <laughs> he was asking questions. Those are fair questions. Oh, you right. He then he right. post he a post a little the little clip where he was uh it was a few a few years ago before he went in when he was going at um at WAC one hundred and shit. Remember, I that? remember that? About the uh about the, the them shooting the video Dustin Meek Mill in Brooklyn. That was 2016, that 17. Was 2016 yeah. 17. He was like he was like, yo, like for niggas in Brooklyn to even to even get into that is corny, like, you know what I'm saying? Y'all let these niggas shoot the majority of the video in Brooklyn and they only filmed the part when they got the cheese stick in Philly, like that's the only part they filmed in Philly. Y'all don't see the problem that, that with that. That whole beef was so fucking stupid. It was stupid as fuck. That game and meek shit. Like I don't even know where game asserted himself in that, but that's a different conversation. He was in Brooklyn. That was odd to me. Like, why would he shoot the video in Brooklyn? Yeah, but you you dissing a Philly nigga. Like that don't even make sense. And you're from the West Coast, but you know, I mean, yeah, I'm 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 gonna tune into that tax tool shit. I want to see what he say because it's been a lot going on. Uh, the last couple of weeks, I don't really want to get into that as far as what WAC 100 got going on, but I just want to see what he got to say yeah, about it. Yeah, ain't got to repeat yeah. shit like that. I just want to see what it's he... It's not productive. 
Yeah, but I just want to see where tax at. Mm-hmm. Like just outside of that, I just want to know what he got to talk about. But I want to definitely tune into that seven thirty. Mm-hmm. So yeah, <laughs> some lame shit. It's just a lot of lame shit. It's a lot on. of lame shit going on, <laughs> bro. Like I feel like a lot of lame shit is always gonna be here. We just gotta we gotta not pay attention to a lot of shit. That's how I look at it. A lot of this shit is gonna be here. We just don't gotta pay attention to it. That's what it is, though. That's what it That's is. That's just what it is. Especially when it's continuous and it's this man. But you know what's crazy though? Like Nip, the a lot of people like they bring up a lot of Nip clips and like quotes. He be speaking towards a lot of shit that's going on now, bro. And this shit's so wild to me. Like it's so wild to me. Like he be, like he be calling a lot of shit head on. So you can't really pay attention to a lot yeah. of that shit, man. Oh, there was another trade songs. Allegation came out, except on this camera. one had a video. On camera. Called, uh, they talking about it was like 2014, 13. That's crazy. And you know what's crazy? The first story I heard about this nigga was around 2013, 14. That's crazy. You and pulling, you pulling, you pulling the girl bra strap down, bro. Send this nigga away, Exposing man. her titty, like. That, that, that just adds to the fire, my nigga. That adds to the fire. That adds to the perception of you. Like, I hate to say it, nigga. too. This is a white girl, too, so they going to get your ass. Bro, nigga out of pocket, regardless of who it is. Yeah. You don't do shit No, like he's that. super out of pocket. You just don't pull no girl, bra string down, titty pop out. That speaks to what you niggas even, are saying about you. Don't you don't even. I don't bro, do. listen. I've been, I've, I came across people who I don't, like I just met. And they've all had the same stories that I've heard. Nobody can't be. All these people can't and we be we don't lying, know bro. each other. Yeah, all these people can't be lying, bro. It's the same exact story. Yeah. Or they, they line up the same. Yeah. You intimidate it, women. It, it all got the same qualities. You intimidate women. You're yeah. aggressive. You're forceful. All this shit. Now, you, 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 escape, you escape the rape allegation. But still. That's one allegation, though. But still, though. You very. The, the stories I've heard, you forceful with women. You you're got disrespectful a, as You fuck. got a persona like they owe you something. Yeah. You think because you're Trey Songz, you get to enforce your will on women. No, bro. Yeah. He's a nasty nigga. That's you nasty. seen that clip that Roy was talking about? Yeah. When, talking, when the Trey Songz doc come out? Yeah. It's going to be nasty? That man said he know about 15 to 20 women mm. that got stories. That's wild. Send that nigga away, I man. know two personally. And these women don't know each other. And they got the exact same story. That's crazy. The two that I know. You know some women, Drew? I'm telling you, man, it's a nasty nigga, man. That well, I ain't about to say nothing, but yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. Send that nigga away. And man. you can't defend the shit, bro. Like the man on tape now. So yeah, like, yeah. what can you say? That just speaks to a nigga who think because he got a name, he could do whatever the fuck he want to do. I'm Trey Songs. Let's go. Yeah. That's how you feel. Ain't too much to say, man. Y'all can choose to ignore it if you want, though, man. That's all I got to say. This music ain't that good, no. He's not Kells. <laughs> and I'm not even saying that the thing Kells, but I'm saying, like, <laughs> yo, that nigga ain't Kells now. Like, let's not do that. Yeah. You seen that nigga tweet the other day try to uh, try to be also talk about, oh, R. Kelly music wasn't even like that. I ain't never seen quotes go up like that, bro. Y'all niggas don't got a lie, Like, I ain't We ain't got a lie. We don't got a lie. We ain't got a lie. He was a shit of a person, but the music catalog. One of the best yeah. One of the best musical catalogs. Bro, he's the greatest R&B artist all the time. That's why right. when you hear that shit at the functions and you see them, the few people just kind of... Uh, like, it's like, okay, bro. You know that Jay-Z <laughs> meme? I mean, the gift that be going with, he be like... Uh huh. <laughs> I, I dropped that when you when you sent the AB song. <laughs> oh yeah, AB got a song with Keisha Cole. Uh, Keisha I mean, Cole, shit cool. And he got a couple songs. But he, it's the one he got called "Put That Shit On." I was like, oh, he in his future bag on this song. Like you got, I'm gonna send you that track. Man. AB is a wild nigga, man. AB a wild. He's still wondering why he ain't got no contract, but it's all it's all good, bro. Well, it ain't helping. <laughs> hey man, it's a wild boy. AB AB come back to New England, man. We got you, bro. Mm. Belichick not bringing him back. Nah, that's over. He don't bring. That's cooked. <laughs> that's cooked. That's over with, bro. That's we'll we'll with. sign T.O. before we sign that nigga. That's not happening, brother. My nigga T.O. playing fan control football at forty eight, bro. Wow. Like him and Johnny Manziel on the same team. What is it called? Fan control football. It's like arena football, but the fans control like the the uh, what. What else? It's like it's, I think it's seven on seven, mm-hmm. and it's like uh, the fans did the draft and shit like that. They got Teal and Johnny Manziel on the same. That man really was talking about making an NFL comeback, though. Yeah, he want to. I mean, he's always been in top tier shape, but at forty eight, I don't know. Yeah. Man. I mean, shit, Brady forty five. 
Yeah. But he he play. He gonna take more hits. He gonna take receiver. way more hits, bro. Like that shit. That shit. Cook, and I'm bro. pretty sure he's still fast. Yeah, I mean, he, prime to might be. When I saw him, when I saw the play that him and Manziel hooked up for a few, a couple of TDs, like he still run routes and shit. Like he good. Like prime to is something. I so, mean, that man was AP at receiver. Yeah, had the speed. He had problem with drops, and, but well, he the, got that ball in his hand, bro. In open it, field, in open field, you're not trying to. And he wasn't covering him one. Yeah, you know the Super Bowl. He played with nine screws in his foot. The yeah. man had like nine catches. Yeah. Can't deny that shit, but he on a different side of the ball than Tom Brady, man. Yeah. Like thirty year old T.O. Yeah, you got me. I'm we're, talk, we're talking eighteen years later though. Yeah, well, bro. Even t- like when T.O. went to Dallas and he was like 33, 34, 35. He was still that mean prime him. years for receiver, but that was really his prime. Yeah, that's how athletically gifted he was. And and Dez Bryant hang that shit up, bro. Dance was trying to come back. This nigga be doing all kinds. He of be like, posting videos and yeah. shit. Yeah, he be monster doing like, niggas. Yeah, one hand catches on kids and shit. Like you know what I'm saying. But technically, up. he still should be playing. He's not that old. He's only 33. Hang that shit up. Wasn't he just on to the Saints though? They dropped him. He never got to play because he hurt. He uh, tore an Achilles or something. Yeah. yeah, fucked up an ankle. Something. Hey man, I don't know man. Hang it up. I don't fuck with Des Bryant as a person. You know what I'm saying? Just after like, he he picked his side for me. You know what I'm saying? With the old Kaepernick shit. It's just in general. Yeah, Jerry Jones when he came on there talking. Oh about yeah, that yeah, shit. Yeah, 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 come on, man. Oh yeah. But then he taught that other shit. I'm like, dog, your your owner, your former owner is that is that. Exactly. Yeah, but you said Jerry Jones. What like Jerry Jones taking the knee and then him looking at the camera. You remember that shit? Yeah, that was nasty. He did not want to do that. That was so nasty. He did not want to do that. The, the think, body language said it all. What do you think was worse, Ray Lewis taking the knee or Jerry Jones taking the knee? Oh, Ray Lewis it had to be Ray because he was so against it. <laughs> Ray, Ray was fighting. He was on two knees. He was on, <laughs> he was on two knees. And it was in London. They was playing the Jaguars over in London. <laughs> Bro, Ray, Ray looked so uncomfortable, bro. Like, that was hard to watch. That was hard to watch, bro. But Jerry Jones taking the knee, that was wild. Well, speaking of London, we're going to get on that. That's something I want to bring up later, Okay. Too, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, man, that Jerry Jones shit, he didn't want to do that. Because he, he did it before they actually did the anthem. They, they yeah. He wasn't going to take a knee during no, the anthem. No, so no. it was like, no. He's not going against his, his father, God. <laughs> get Jerry Jones out of here. So NBA playoffs, man. Sweep. Let's go, man. Let's talk about it, man. 3-0. You know what I'm saying? The niggas really up 3-0. Them fucking clovers, them clovers in town. You know what I'm saying? That's all I got to say, man. Hey, bro, we 3-0. Monday, we sending niggas to Tulum. <laughs> oh, shit. Man. Monday, we sending niggas to Tulum, bro. You know what I'm saying? The defense is there. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Robert Williams, man, playing seven minutes a half. Still doing what he got to do. And was sending blocks. And was catching alley. And was catching alley. Y'all got vibranium in that knee, man. Ain't it's, no way. Hey. Ain't no way. Vibranium. My dog got vibranium in that knee. I seen they go up. It was a it was a dead ball foul, but I was like, oh shit, this nigga fine. Three weeks removed from NCL spring. Shout out Daniel Tice, man, because you know niggas had something to say because Robert oh, wasn't did. there. They did. And you saying, and I was driving, dunking, blocking, getting rebounds. We had him in Chicago too. We y'all got him from us. I was like, "Yo, Daniel Tice is legit, bro." Like, yeah, we traded him for the. Uh, it was like a three team trade with that DeRozan shit. Yeah, but um, yeah, man, we played a day. We got our ass smacked on Friday. What's, what was going on in Chicago, man? Oh, Grayson Allen was the leading scorer, and you know I hate that motherfucker. Hey, Giannis only had eighteen. Y'all, there was up like almost thirty at one point. They won it? by thirty. Oh my god! I see. I fell asleep on the game. I didn't know they actually won by thirty. Bro, no bullshit. I had like a little mini nap before that game, and no bullshit mode. When I woke up, I was like, "Bro, something don't feel right." (laughs) Like some do not feel right. No, like I feel like no, we about to get something something off the night. I I know that's why I'm laughing. I was like, I know how that feels. But today, before the game, I'm like, I don't know. Bro, when, when but that feeling that I had, I'm like, bro, I feel like we might get smoked. And sure enough, we got smoked. I ain't going to lie, because that's how I kind of felt after game one versus the Nets. I was like, the way we won that game, I was like, they're not beating us in series, bro. You we just, just low. You just low. We just, we too, we are, we are, we are, we are so much better coached than the Nets. I'm going to just, just I'm locked a, in mentality I'm a, Yeah, I'm going to just start from there. Like, what, what E-May has done with us in the second half of the season has been remarkable. Coming 100%. off what we did in the first half. 
like second half, how he established the defense and, and how we go. In. Like did we have, they have completely bought into the system and everything. I feel like when he really gave the keys to Marcus Smart, that's when shit really changed because we became defensive minded, like off top, like. And Jason you know, Tatum defense has been amazing. Jason Tatum defense has really stepped up. Jalen Brown defense he already always, got the size. Yeah, he always, that's all he needed to really just tap in on the defensive side. Like he's six eight, got a seven foot wingspan. Damn near. Like he's like even we've been we've been double teaming Katie a lot, but even on the on the one on ones, he's been blocking. holding his own. He's been blocking Katie shots. He's been contesting every shot. Yeah, we we've been getting we've been throwing a lot of a lot of uh, double teams at Katie as we should. But even with that, we still been getting back on defense. We still been doing a lot. We've been covering boards. We we agitating the fuck out of ball handlers. Hey man, niggas in trouble, man. Shit, Monday niggas. Monday niggas going to Mexico, man. That's all I gotta no, say, sweep bro. Sweep on Katie resume is nasty, especially with this next team. Hey man, Ben Simmons still supposed to play a game for that? Won't even matter. That don't even matter, bro. It don't matter. You on the sidelines dressed like a scammer. Facts. He he put a lot of a lot of a lot of effort into that. Hey, hey shout out to that jazz and mass game. Niggas was talking about all oh, this nineteen seventies basketball. Nigga, that was a great fucking game. That was game. a good game. That was a good game. I watched that game. Donovan Mitchell in the game with the alley to Rudy. I that know was, he happy. That was a good game. Hey, to be honest though, that team is not that bad. I, I understand they gonna, they're not that bad. They just haven't been buying into what they need to do. They you know they've been running it up for a couple for shit four years now trying to get it done, but it, they should not lose to this Maverick team. No, they shouldn't. But I mean, it's a hell of a series though. It's a hell of a series, but because if they would have lost that game, it would have been bad. D Wade said, "I'm gonna pull up to this one." D Wade was at the game. Yeah, yeah. What do you think of Snyder' overall tenure as the um, Utah Jazz? He's not a bad coach. I mean, at the end of the day, you've been in eight years now. He's not a bad coach. I mean, sometimes shit runs its course. You know, they want to part ways, part ways. But he's not a bad coach at all. Not for what he's been having to do with that team, right? Mike Conley dropping eggs. Donovan being a drill cone on mm-hmm. defense, and he must have seen her niggas because his defense oh, yeah. stepped up yesterday. Yeah, niggas been on his ass. Yeah, y'all want to get on Rudy so much, no, Rudy, Rudy is Rudy was that never bad, the problem. Bro. Rudy was never like he the don't problem, got off his bro. game, true indeed. But he's a he's a defensive player of the year candidate, he's, rebounder. He's, he's for not. A yeah, you don't be consistent defensive player of the year and win it three years and be the problem, bro. I want I want Clarkson and Hassan Whiteside in Chicago. No bullshit. I, I Clarkson mean, giving niggas twenty plus off the bench. Yeah, off the bench. Yeah. And Hassan Whiteside presses is real. I feel like Clark should be getting the same amount of press that Tyler Hero get for what he do off the bench. But I mean, I get it. I mean, yeah. well, I don't get well, it. Shit, he was averaging eighteen off the bench last year. I don't know what he was averaging this year. But Tyler, you know, he got it because he was getting what twenty two off the bench, like twenty, almost twenty two. Yeah, Drew, what's up with Kyle Lowry? He playing? Uh, they say it's coming. Game time decision. What is it? It's hamstring. Ooh, ooh that shit tricky. Ooh, ooh, if it's game time, then he ain't got the grade one like Booker. It must be one of those, you know. I just gotta, ah. I gotta massage that leg. Well, he man. have to run around with Trey that whole night. I don't know, brother. That's gonna be a key thing to look at, Drew. My dog had a game winning layup. If y'all, if y'all drop that, if y'all go two and two, what do mm. you think, bro? Six. Nah, we going. We straight, man. I mean, it's glad to be six games. If y'all, y'all have to win two in a row. We're not losing tonight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, a dog calling it. We're not doing that. Yeah, we play the Bucks at one. They got one. They might get two, maybe maybe two at the most. But I, I'm sick with my one, dog. I said, we get these niggas out of here, man. Get Fuck it over with. Tired of this shit, man. This nigga Trey Young is not like that, bro. Mm. Damn. Mm. Not like that, bro. We saw the first two games. You, know you put saying? no respect on it. I mean, he respect is going to be due when, you know, it's earned. You know what I mean? I think mm. he, he's, he's done his thing out here. Cool. Man, that man made ECF last year, man. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. It's a new year. We all guess the heat though. You ain't hearing that. Not hearing it. And I, I'm really not. Like I'm not. I feel. I feel. It. I respect it, man. Yeah, man. Because yeah. I don't. I'm not respecting none of this net shit right you now. Know what I'm saying they, <laughs> niggas just be talking, bro. Like, dog. We niggas, are. We niggas are told okay. me. Niggas told me I don't want to play the Nets in the first round. I'm like, nigga. I watch basketball and I watch my team. <laughs> Fuck is y'all talking about? I said. I said six, but we getting this shit over in four. I'm fucking That's with it. Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> See, I think. Um, you know, for us, it the last shot shouldn't have came from Jimmy Butler in that manner. Exactly. It, Not it that just type of shot. You know what I mean? Like, bro, what you doing? He bro? made one earlier like that, but no. Yeah. Like, who who would you want taking that shot, dude? Not, Tyler Hero. I would take Tyler or Duncan, but Duncan Duncan's going to hit if it's contested. You know what I mean? Open, uh, 
I don't know. You don't trust Duncan on the open? A lot of people make a test it over yeah. the opens. And we saw it in the bubble with Duncan. I mean, the Duncan, man, was, Duncan was coming off a lot of screens and curls in that bubble, With bro. the hand in his face, though. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Because so, he, he for, for what it's worth, he is slow, but he do hit them shots, though. He does. But definitely in that game. And the thing about it was, you can't win when you're fucking trying to play solo basketball. Tyler, solo basketball. Butler, solo basketball. Like, nigga, it's a team out here. You know what I mean? I ain't gonna lie, Drew. I kind of want to run that back with y'all, though. I don't care if it's ECF or not, because <laughs> I, I, like, I feel like our defense is up to par now to play y'all. Like, how oh, they did beat y'all in They beat us in ECF. We're supposed to go to the fucking finals, they bro. They beat y'all in what, six? Yeah, it was six. Yeah, Bam sent that shit back. Hell of a block, boy. Hey, Zach Levine got me looking crazy, bro. <laughs> My dog got to do something, man. Nah, he for looking, real, though. It's looking bad for Zach, man. For real, it's though. It's looking real bad. I didn't expect for us to get waxed like that. I expected yeah, us I to win that game. I didn't know that shit was going to get... That shit got ugly. Quick. That Bobby Portis ugly. came out, hit his first three shots. Grayson Allen hit four threes in a minute and a half. That's crazy. You're Off not, the bench. You're not winning like that. You're not winning Giannis like that. win by 30 by only having 18? That's That's crazy. That's crazy. I thought Giannis And I least... always said, what was I saying? I don't believe in them niggas outside Giannis. And them niggas shut me the fuck up. They heard it. They heard it, bro. No, Zach, no, Zach. no, no, Kev, no, um, no Middleton now. Zach had, what, 10, 12 points? No Middleton. Zach Levine got to have a 40-point game in this series, bro. Lamar holding up his end. Like, y'all both scores, my nigga. How you feel with Vooch? Because you said Vooch was a key component to this series, too. He had a bad game, but I ain't really too on him in this series. He's been playing, for the most part, he's been playing Zach got to do his thing. Zach has been bad. He was good game two. I'll say that. But overall, game one, you shot bad. Mm-hmm. Game two, you stepped up. Three, you was a ghost. Zach Levine was a ghost game three. 100% fact. So today, in front of the UC again, bro, you got to step up. We play at one o'clock. You know what's crazy, though? Like, a lot of people in Chicago was like, is they feel like the whole city at the United Center because that's how empty the city was. Like, they was like the whole city was there. And for that to turn out like that, that's crazy. Yeah, y'all got y'all to gotta rebound off that, you know. Big time. I don't know, man. Yeah, that was crazy. I don't understand it, man. I don't understand. What are the series you got going Grizzlies on? Grizzlies dropped the ball last night. Yeah, Cat, Cat responded. Cat responded. Cat had a great fucking game. That's how you respond, Cat. That's how you respond. You was sucking big last game. The boy walked y'all. You blew two 20 point leads and you came back last night. Cat, I think had Cat had 30 and 15. 30 and 15. Efficient, too. Hey, man. But I don't care what nobody say, dog. Cat is the best player on that team, man. I fuck with Ant Edwards. I love Ant, but Cat is the best player on that team, man. Skill wise, yeah. Overall skill, yeah. But Ant can be better than him, though. He can. For sure. For sure. And I don't know what the fuck that nigga did to his knee. Cause he uh, walked off the court and then came back like it was nothing. He he put that goddamn. It might be that uh, youth in him, man. Yeah, that's what it is. What he like? What eighteen? <laughs> twenty. He twenty? Oh, he twenty? Shit, yeah. We all been there before. Now, I know that Pelican shit sounded good, but them niggas not winning that series, guys. Man, I told that's, y'all. That's over with. That's over with, man. That's over. Them niggas wasn't beating them. Chris Paul not losing to the fucking Pelican, man. Mm-mm. And then they'll play Jazz or Mavs next round. Wolves and, well, Curry and them will play the, the wolves. wolves or Grizzlies. I think the Grizzlies will pull that out, man. Yeah, the Grizzlies going to pull they that out. They better. I got money on that shit. The Grizzlies got to win this next game, and they got to finish it at home. So, yeah, they'll be all right. So this is a six-game series for sure. Um, yeah, so the, you say the Suns will end up playing the, uh, the Suns. Jazz will, or Mavs? Yeah, the Suns, gonna, they're going to wax Sweet. whoever come out of that, too. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah. They might get one game off the humble, off the respect. So, what, we going to have, what, Suns and Warriors uh, Western Conference Finals? That's what I'm thinking, yeah. Okay. okay. Oh, Tyson Fury knocked Dog out yesterday in yeah, the sixth I saw round. That. I saw that. Nasty too. uppercut. Dog couldn't even walk to the uh, the the um, the ref. Mm. Dog no, for somebody to be that big and that and move like that, Tyson, nobody fucking with Tyson, he's, he's bro. He's one of the most skilled boxers all time, bro. Nobody's fucking with him. Like people gotta put respect on that man. Like he don't look like a top tier athlete, but bro, really is like that. You're not like, fucking with him. Like he's one of the most skilled you boxers. You better ask Wilder. And Wilder all chiseled, got the physique. None of that shit matter, bro. Hey man, three times he whoop, whooped your ass. The first one was controversial because he got a little knock. Okay, cool. 
Tyson won that first one. Second one wasn't close. Third one, it wasn't close. He whooped that ass some last two fights. Damn sure did. Outboxed I felt him. like he won the first one, but he got Out, knocked down. Outboxed him. Like, I out completely outboxed his ass. And like I said, the look don't matter. It's about them skills. It's about the skills. It's about the skills, bro. Like, he outboxing that nigga. Like, Wilder never really... Wilder is not like a skilled boxer at all. Like, mm-hmm. he's just... Mm-hmm. Oh, Raptors is six is day one. You think they wrap that up Monday, though? Yeah, that's over with, too. That's over with. I mean, it was cool. You know what I'm saying? But that shit over with. Were well, they back in Philly, right? Yeah. yeah, that's over with in Philly. Next so, round, they'll play the Heat or the Hawks. Mm, Drew, y'all got the, the Sixers next, bro. Bring them on. How about to whoop their ass? I ain't going to say whoop their ass. I say bring them on. Bring them on? Oh, yeah, man. That's a seven-game series, bro. That's definitely seven. Mm. I'd be surprised if anything, anything else. But, yeah, definitely six. To me, that's going to be a seven-game series. That's going to be a good one. This nigga Tyson Fury is a big-ass white dude, dog. Like, this shit don't even make no sense. Yeah, and he flabby, but it don't matter. It don't matter. It's about, it's about, it's about, you know, he lost like 100-plus pounds because he was in depression. It's about it's about, it's about about how you move in the ring and your skills, bro. Bro, like, this man is like 6'9", 250, <laughs> but moves crazy. That's wild. And he got power. That's wild. Imagine taking a punch from that man. I'm not trying to imagine that. <laughs> Shit, you see, you see Deontay Wilde was bleeding out his fucking ear. Like, I'm not trying to take nah. Mm-mm, that's and crazy. them shit coming too. Them like, shit coming them quick, shit, quick, them shit coming quick. Like, yeah, I'm fucking nah. I don't see how niggas do that boxing shit, bro. Cause you get hit one time and you kind of, hey, hey, bro, we fighting. Fuck this boxing shit. Like, I mean, the nigga threw, he threw 243 punches and landed 76. His opponent threw 171 and landed 29. God damn. <laughs> he whooped that dude ass. That's a big disparity. That's a huge disparity. Like, Bruh. <laughs> nigga throwing at the air at that point. <laughs> like, the fuck? 29 land punches is crazy, dog. <laughs> Just but if you look at there. Deontay, he was always trying to go for the knockout, so he was making himself tight. He wasn't really hitting. He Tyson. wasn't he wasn't boxing. It's the difference between fighting. Deontay is a fighter. He's not what a if boxer. Wilder, what, what if what if Fury was moving like Floyd? No, that was, that should be over in like the first three rounds. Like and I'm Fury, talking about like, yeah, with, you can't hit Floyd with the D. Yeah, if he had if he had Floyd's defense, Ooh. man, we be talking about Tyson Fury in a completely different manner. He like, might be the greatest. Boxer he might be of all on some Ali type shit, like on some real shit, like. Nobody fuck with him in that heavyweight class That's at all. Rap. That's cookies. That's good. Anthony Joshua ducking that man. He don't. He ain't he already beat Anthony Joshua ass before. They ain't fight. They ain't fight yet. Hold that's on. that's that's what everybody want to see. Man, he, Anthony don't want to do that to himself, bro. I'm, I I swear to and God, he, he looked don't. the part, but no. nah, he not he not on that man level, bro. Because he lost to the he lost to the dude the uh the, that's what the I'm saying. Fat dude, the fat Mexican lost dude. To, he lost to a, a dude before. Yeah, that yeah. was the fat the fat Mexican that, dude. I thought that's why I thought he fought. I thought he fought Tyson. It was the, it and was he was Mexican. a replacement. See, nah, he don't want that to himself, bro. That that heavyweight shit is is a lock. Leave that shit alone. Tyson is the one, bro. <laughs> Humble as hell, man. You know? That man, that man. After that last Deontay fight, he was like, you know, I tried to, I tried to congratulate Deontay. He didn't want to shake my hand. Let's let, let show you how what type of person he is. He was in his bag at that last presser, nah, bro. That like, ass, though. That ass. I was like, damn. I mean, shit. He beat his ass. He ain't wrong. He ain't wrong, bro. Shake that man's hand. You was talking all that shit, but that man not skilled. That man whooped your ass, bro. Yeah. So officially, the NFL is going to add a third game on Christmas Day. They had two last year with the yeah. Colts and uh, Cardinals, and then Browns and Packers. So it's three games. Yeah, getting the NBA out the paint on Christmas Day, bro. Damn. So this this, this is a strategic move, bro. The Browns and Packers had twenty eight million viewers last year, and they just tossed that game on Christmas Day. So imagine that they have like a division, and then around December, that's playoff time. Yeah, Playoff they implications. Trying, they, was trying, they was trying to get in the, in the yeah. We was having a, a real good conversation yesterday about NFL and NBA and the trajectory, how NBA is bigger on the global scale than NFL. But my whole thing be, even with the NBA being bigger on the global scale, they still not trumping the NFL as far as revenue I honestly don't and even viewership. Think, I don't think that the, NF, the NBA bigger on the global scale because if that's the no, case. No, they're saying because of, like, all the fans that they got in China and all this other shit. But, so like, in what? Europe – 
in Europe, the NFL, that state shit, like, bro, when we went over there and played football That's what I'm saying. The they, they got season games over there. Bro, they I, didn't have, even, I didn't even know we had a Panther fan base in Europe. They don't have season games for the NBA overseas. You get what I'm saying? But they saying due to... They was breaking it down like um, like how they're uh, telecast, basically. Because, mm. you know, China, they... Yeah, that's basketball. They love basketball, that's basketball over there. Basketball. It's more people in China than Europe, And right? they play basketball on a lot of different locations versus yeah. football. You only really play football in America. You get what I'm saying? You got basketball in Istanbul, China, Japan. Okay. You got bas- That's what I'm talking about. Okay, yeah, I'll give you that. But give you that. in terms of like, I'm like, bro, what can the NBA do to Trump NFL in America? Nothing. Nothing at all. Nah. When the Super Bowl come around? It's Super Bowl. It's bad as football and football only. The only thing Trump in football is the World Cup. Because billions watch the World Cup. I mean, yeah. foot, well, football slash soccer is the biggest sport in the world. That's not even debatable. Yeah. But in terms of the NBA and NFL, because we was like, okay, if when the NFL drop a third game on Christmas Day, who the fuck going to really watch NBA basketball? Yeah, NBA kind of cooked on Christmas. And that was their day. Yeah, that was. The NFL said shit. Then somebody going to say, well, the NBA can be petty and play basketball on Thanksgiving. And do what? Mm, we're not going to care about that. Who the fuck going to watch NBA basketball on Thanksgiving over the NFL? That's the NFL is, is ain't even about Dallas. Yeah. The other games be getting coverage too. Yeah, the NFL is that's Thanksgiving. That is Thanksgiving. It's always been like so. That. The NFL gonna reign supreme on Thanksgiving and Christmas Day. Now I give the NBA a little bit of pass for this past Christmas because of COVID. I give them a pass for that because the, the biggest game was the Nets and Lakers and shit. Yeah. Who didn't play that game? I think Harden came back. I don't think KD played. I think it was just KD uh, Harden and. Harden was the only one, really. Yeah, Harden by himself. But next year? Oh, it's curtains. <laughs> yeah, it's so over. It's man. curtains. And LeBron. they not fucking with it. I don't know why people be trying to fight that. Like, you can love basketball more than football, but football is, 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 they lap baseball. Yeah, football has lap baseball. Well, and of course, in America, like, baseball is good. It's big. Baseball is big in America and like in South America and shit like that. Basketball surpassed baseball. Yeah, but it definitely did. And I think it was so many games that somebody brought this great point. Y'all have to understand that with football, more is at state because it's less games. So like six games in the NBA account for one yeah. in the NFL because every week counts. Every fucking week counts in the NFL. Every, every week is them. them Look at baseball. Break, baseball is 106. Me and you just had the conversation. Oh, niggas talking about the Braves starting off what? Two and four. Two it's and like, two. Bro, that no, don't it, matter. Was, it was two and two when, when that nigga tweeted that. Like, I'm like, like man, bro, like, it was 162 games. What are you talking about, bro? And we just won the World Series. And y'all was even bad up until August. Y'all, y'all went on the run. I was like, bro, like, niggas don't know what they be talking about when it comes to baseball. But I bro, think like, with, with the NFL is more at stake because it's less games. I always say that about the NBA. I don't really look at the standings really until about post Christmas. Mm-hmm. Every weekend, football. Because even look at y'all. Y'all was bad at the beginning of the season, yeah. the Celtics. Yeah. January come? Yeah. But, but with the NFL, you can't do that. Every week is them to make a break. That's bro. what I'm saying, bro. And to think that the NBA is going to make a dent on the NFL, it's not going to happen. So y'all can talk all that bigger globally, all that shit, all you. It don't matter. To me, it don't. Nah, it, it, I know Goodell trying to expand as far as Europe and da, da, da. Like, they love football over there. Like, American football over there. That's true. Because I'm telling you, I did not know we had a fan base over there. That's just our team alone. So, imagine the Jaguars always going over there. Mm-hmm. Ravens always going over there. Like, it's some teams who got some fan bases over there. That shit was crazy to me. But it's like, if you think on Christmas Day, more people going to watch the NBA than the NFL, you out your mind. Yeah, that's that's over with. If they if they do three games, it's over with. They're going to basically have all day, just like how NBA all day, but it's just going to be NFL whooping the NBA ass my, all day. The first game last year was at 4 o'clock between yeah. Browns and Packers. And then, Drew, y'all played at what, 8.30? Mm-hmm. Come on, man. And mind you now, NBA is from 12 to 10 o'clock all yeah. day Christmas. Mm-hmm. I ain't going to hold you. I ain't watch none of them, them games after the Lakers next I don't really watch none of them games. Neither, I watch the Brown, the Brown Packers we was, watching, was a great we game, watching, too. We was watching football. We was watching football. And then the Colts and Cardinals was a good game. Yep. Damn, man. Shit going to get real. So, Drew, what time y'all play today? Seven. We play at one. Y'all got the funeral lined up for tomorrow. Y'all going to wear all black? 
Nah, we ain't doing that. We ain't doing that. Bro, we just going... Smith did that shit to y'all 2013. I remember that. Bro, that was so fucking corny, bro. Like, my boy went up three on and said, Yeah, we gonna wear this. Uh, these niggas black, came yeah, all boy. black and said, Bro, bro that, was, that was so fucking corny, bro. Yeah, you know, I black. still don't like the Knicks because of that, bro. I still don't like them niggas, bro. Like, the fact that they did that, and they came, they came to us and did that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They came to TDU like that. But it's all good though. The Knicks ain't do ain't doing shit now. They ain't been shit since. They ain't been shit since then. Once once that mellow era was over with, it was it was over with. But uh, you know, I would say, man, Monday we send the niggas to Tulum, bro. They might as well go ahead and get that shit booked up, man. You know, KD might as well go ahead, um, read the tweets. You know what I'm saying? Get it over with. You know what I'm saying? You know. Say what you gotta say, but this shit is over with, bro. You know what I'm saying? Your team just getting out coached. You know what I'm saying? Y'all not scrapping like how we scrapping on the defensive side. And we got dogs offensively. You know what I'm saying? Everybody playing their part. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So that's just what it come down to, man. Um, you know? We get ready for the second round. Shit gonna get wild. Y'all get the bucks to us, but it most likely might be the bucks, man. We I don't know. It depends on y'all how gotta win today today. Go, Y'all got to win today. Y'all can't afford to lose today. Y'all can't Y'all can't afford to completely blow home the home court, bro. Lose both games. But we good for some shit like this now. Remember 2017? We won the first two at y'all house. Then we lost four straight. <laughs> I was scared the first again. I ain't going to lie. I'm like, dog, we took the first two on the road going back to the shy? Nah. Mm-mm. We always do this dumb shit. It was Rondo. Rondo had us completely. <laughs> Rondo had mind control over niggas, bro. <laughs> hey, man. <sighs> I know, though, man. Today's going to be a good day, though. Today's going to be a good day. Yeah, for I have a good man. feeling about today. I'm in a good mood. That nigga said he took the nap and woke up feeling different. I know how that feels. Dog, boy. literally. It was like around 7-ish. Yeah. Then I woke up like around like... 759. Uh-huh. And I'm like, bro, something don't feel right about tonight's game. <laughs> Got smoked. Bobby All Portis know, came out, hit his first three shots. I watched the first like five minutes and I end up I end up watching something else. I looked at the score. I was like, oh my God. What's going on? I tweeted, I was like, what's going on in Chicago, man? Hey man, y'all gotta bounce back. That ain't a good look. Not yeah. a good look, bro. I don't know, man. Drew, man. Y'all y'all dragging the day. It was gonna be a close game. We got to get a win. I don't give a fuck. You don't care I, I look ugly or pretty. One point, half a point, point five. I don't give a damn, nigga. We got to get this win, bro. That's all that matters to me. Three and, up, three and one, got to happen today. You got to win the close games anyway, so it don't matter. Facts. You're not always going to have a blowout. Nah. So that's what I'm saying. Like, the first first two games look good. Again, I don't. we went away from team ball last game, just knowing my team and shit. We worked better as a team than these niggas trying to put up all these points by themselves, you know? Spread the fucking ball around. Dude, just, just, just let, just let Eric coach, man. Fucking idiots, man. Stuck Butler in that fucking. Yeah, y'all should have won that game. Sure. PJ Tucker hit a big shot too. <sighs> There's Trey no Young reason. got to the rack easily. That's what I'm layup. saying, dog. That's what I'm saying. But niggas just gotta step up, man. They gotta do their jobs today. That's it. Got one job: win. Do that shit. Hear ye, hear ye. I really don't like the Bucks, bro. I really hate them niggas. Mm-mm-mm. I fuck with Giannis, though. I fuck with Giannis. I got no beef with Giannis, but the rest of them niggas. Them niggas heard you, face, man. Yeah, fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> we can run this shit back up next year. We get Zoe back, man. I feel like he make a big difference, too. Zoe giving Drew, Drew the fits next year? <laughs> what? It's still this year, man. No. Y'all go win this shit, man. Y'all got it. Hopefully Milwaukee's true. not like that, bro. I believe you. Not like that. Like I said, Giannis could going to be Giannis, but the mother niggas. I don't believe in the mother niggas, man. If you're telling me Grayson Allen going to have another 22, Ain't gonna 18, happen. then we'll get smoked. Ain't going to happen. I don't see that again, man. It's like, coming from a Duke player. That's not going to happen. Like, Grayson Allen? All right, this is what we doing. And he know I don't like him. <laughs> he know that. <laughs> Because, you know, he did that shit to Caruso at the early year that had him out for about two months. Right. He fucked up his wrist. Yeah. And he is a dirty player sometimes, man. It Calling a spade a spade. Yeah, it is what it is, man. So we got anything else before we get up out of here, man, or that's it? 
Oh, man. Hey man, I'm good, man. I got I got some some TV to catch up on before these before these games. I'm probably bouncing from the games to TV throughout the day. It's a cleaning day, so I'm about to go home and get busy okay. on the cleaning side. You know, Sunday fun day, get the house ready for the okay, week. You, I'm about to go home and get me some food. Yeah, man. Might make me some steak and eggs. You you a big steak and eggs nigga, bro. I be fucking that shit up. That's, that's your go to <laughs> meal. Like I might add some grits to that too. Oh, you going grits and all. You about to be sitting down for the day. I'm chilling, man. What time is it? About 11.10? Yeah, man. About to go home and make some grits, some eggs, some steak. Get ready for that game. Get ready for that game. We played first. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah you going to be straight by the time that game won. Shit, Shit you going to be up? You going to watch the whole game, nigga? Facts. I eat, I eat steak, eggs, and grits. I need to move around. Nah, we getting smacked. I might turn on the wire. So. <laughs> so the next game come on. We be getting smacked. That's wild. <laughs> This was back in the day, man. Well, the thing about the old the days. The thing about the old days. They the, they the old, old days. days. <laughs> <laughs> they the old days. That's how niggas be talking to me when I talk about these shoe releases, man. They be like, hey, them the old days, old brother. Days, be like, man. hey, man, these niggas that's phasing crazy. niggas like me out. You know what I'm saying? But that's a different conversation, though, yeah, man. No but, uh, I mean, big up to the city, man, as always. Y'all stop stealing shit. Off King Street that don't belong to you, okay? <laughs> hey, she said the white lady told her. Plants. She said the white lady told her she well, can take white your lady, plant, dog. If, you, if you're sending them, boy, next time I got something hot for them, all right? Boy, hey, she said the white. And shit. Was she you said, trying to build a greenhouse? <laughs> <laughs> she said the white lady gave her authority to come take your shit, brother. Well, this is black on. <laughs> white lady has niggas, no niggas are stealing plants, here. bro. What the fuck? <laughs> Hey man, what up, hey man? Niggas is stealing plans out this motherfucker. You gotta, you gotta, gotta, gotta love King Street, man. Oh, gotta love God, it, brother. Man. But yeah, man, big up the city, man. Always, man. Much love to everybody, man. What well, episode one one ninety nine? Yep. Hey man. Hey man. Hey man. I got some plans. We talk about this when we when we wrap it up, man. But I got a plan that we should do. You know what I'm saying? That's all I can really say. So, like we say every episode, man, every week. If you feel some type of way, you know this episode, what we said, got you in your feelings, always remember. We're just some messages. We out.